Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Namaskar, bhai. Namaskar. Sab logo ko namaskar. Of hemorrhage is known as duret hemorrhage. Sometimes a question comes: duret hemorrhage is seen in in brain. Duret hemorrhage is seen in brain. Now, sir, there is an injury which is known as concussion injury of brain. There is an injury of brain. It is concussion injury. What is concussion injury? Here you are temporary unconscious. here you are temporary unconscious due to head injury this temporary unconsciousness due to head injury is known as concussion injury this is known as concussion injury concussion injury and doctor in concussion injury the brain has edema this is known as berlin edema the brain has <coughs> edema this is known as berlin edema <clears throat> the brain has edema this is known as berlin edema duret hemorrhage is a hemorrhage of brain and bones concussion injury is temporary unconsciousness due to head injury is known as concussion injury diffuse axonal injury diffuse axonal injury sir so this injury is injury of this injury is injury of white matter of the brain and sir here axons are broken here axons are broken and it forms a ball which is known as retraction ball here axons are broken and it forms a ball that is known as retraction ball retraction ball this injury is diffuse axonal injury diffuse axonal injury axons are broken this question comes retraction ball is seen in brain in brain duret hemorrhage is a hemorrhage of midbrain and bones berlin edema is also a edema of brain railway spine sir in railway accident in railway accident accident of railway you have spinal injury in railway accident you have spinal injury this is known as railway spine it is a concussion of spinal cord it is a concussion of spinal cord you have spinal cord injury it is known as railway spine railway spine is spinal cord injury it is injury of spinal cord 
it is a injury of spinal cord this is known as railway spine so doctor sir ye sare question aate hain now i am coming to very important regional injury intracranial hemorrhage intra cranial hemorrhage what are the which are possible these are known as intra cranial hemorrhage sir these are three meninges dura arachnoid pia this is epidural this is subdural this is subarachnoid and this is cerebrum so i i can classify this first is edh edh is extradural or epidural hemorrhage extradural and epidural hemorrhage then comes subdural sdh then comes subarachnoid and then comes it is intracerebral friends these are hemorrhage extradural or epidural edh then sdh sh then it is ich these are yes these are examples of these are examples of different intracranial hemorrhage different intra cranial hemorrhage we have four type of intra cranial hemorrhage now what are the question you generally get sir first is epidural hemorrhage sir epidural hemorrhage is always due to trauma no other cause always due to trauma no other cause in epidural hemorrhage we have lucid interval and in epidural hemorrhage the heat hematoma is epidural in nature the first lucid interval we discussed in forensic psychiatry but sir this lucid interval is different what is lucid interval of epidural hemorrhage the person is unconscious then become conscious then again become unconscious this interval is lucid interval unconscious conscious then again become unconscious this phase of consciousness between two phases of unconsciousness this is lucid interval this is the first one yes this is the first one epidural hemorrhage so again you can get a question it is always by trauma it's not very common lucid interval heat hematoma heat hematoma as i told you in heat we have hematoma that is known as heat hematoma now i am coming to sdh subdural hematoma sdh is subdural hematoma subdural hematoma it is common in children and in old person it is common in children and old person it is common in alcoholic it is common in alcoholic and it is common as boxing injury sir in boxing injury this subdural hematoma is very common and doctor sir this question comes in exam it can cause a very important syndrome this is known as punch drunk syndrome punch drunk syndrome what is the meaning of punch drunk after punch you behave like a drunk that is known as punch drunk syndrome this is because of subdural hematoma this punch drunk syndrome is also known as dementia pugilistica this punch drunk syndrome is also known as dementia pugilistica it is common in children and old person it is common in children and old person second alcoholic third in boxing injury this is subdural hematoma in boxing injury there is a punch drunk syndrome after punch you behave like a drunk this is known as punch drunk syndrome now come to sah subarachnoid hemorrhage 
it is most common traumatic hemorrhage it is most common traumatic hemorrhage this is subarachnoid hemorrhage sud arachnoid hemorrhage doctor sir thunder clap headache thunder clap headache is a very important first finding of subarachnoid hemorrhage thunder clap headache very important first finding of subarachnoid hemorrhage now i am coming to ich intracerebral hemorrhage intra cerebral hemorrhage sir it is most common non traumatic hemorrhage it is most common non traumatic hemorrhage and of sub most common site is internal capsule you can remember intra cerebral ic and this is a very simple trick most common site is also ic that is internal capsule that is internal capsule most common site is internal capsule so sir start revision some important thing okay i will revise start revision write down which see which hemorrhage is exclusively due to trauma only which hemorrhage is ex, in which hem brain hemorrhage is exclusively due to trauma only yes yes it is epidural absolutely right my dear friend it is epidural it is always exclusively due to trauma alcoholic and boxing injuries are having common hemorrhage what is the name of that hemorrhage subdural subdural which is most common non traumatic hemorrhage most common non traumatic hemorrhage ich most common traumatic hemorrhage most common traumatic hemorrhage sch thunder clap headache is a symptom of thunder clap headache is symptom of sch very good heat hematoma is a kind of which hemorrhage heat hematoma heat hematoma is kind of which hemorrhage sch s a h very good sorry heat hematoma is eds hematoma video call ho gaya hematoma is eds sorry lucid interval is seen in which hematoma yes it is edh durette hemorrhage is a hemorrhage of which organ durette hemorrhage is a hemorrhage of which organ kaun se organ mein hemorrhage hota hai durette hemorrhage yes it is midbrain and pons diffuse axonal injury is a injury of option a white matter option b gray matter white matter berlin edema is seen in which organ kaun se organ mein berlin edema hota hai which organ yes it is brain brain edema is berlin edema it's a concussion of brain temporary unconsciousness is seen temporary unconsciousness is seen <coughs> okay so these are some very very important hemorrhages very very important hemorrhage sir वैसे मैंने आपको most common traumatic hemorrhage बताया sch but you can can confirm this in surgery because in forensic it is given in sch but probably in surgery probably in surgery you just confirm when you get surgery class most common traumatic hemorrhage given in surgery that is sdh is more commonly given in sch but this has to be confirmed in surgery only don't confirm this in forensic medicine because forensic has no issue with this confirm with surgery this is just a suggestion for you because according to me in surgery sdh is more given so if 
in surgery if hdh is more given then you have to follow surgery hdh otherwise you can follow forensic medicine because in forensic book sh is given more commonly by trauma okay so this is a confusion that's why i told <clears throat> now sir <clears throat> injuries in a person sitting inside a vehicle sitting inside a vehicle and person gets accident see this person is sitting inside a vehicle this is a glass in front this is staring okay what are the possible injury sir this face yes first injury this face strike the glass this is known as windshield injury and of sir this is known as sparrow feet mark sparrow feet mark sparrow feet mark windshield injury it causes sparrow feet mark now sir we have seat belt <clears throat> most common site of seat belt injury is mesentery most common site of seat belt injury is mesentery mesentery and dr saab there is fracture of lumbar vertebra in seat belt injury seat belt injury there is a fracture of lumbar vertebra this is known as chance fracture or seat belt fracture chance fracture or seat belt fracture lumbar vertebra fracture this tearing produces aortic tear this tearing produces aortic tear aortic tear the neck neck goes in hyper extension neck goes in hyper extension and there is a injury of spinal cord there is a injury of spinal cord sir so this is known as v plus injury this is known as v plus injury neck goes in hyper extension like this we have a injury of spinal cord this is known as v plus injury as i told you v plus injury is a injury of spinal cord sparrow feet mark are seen on the face seat belt injury is most commonly of mesentery and staring leads aortic tear staring leads aortic tear apart from this dashboard so dashboard which is present in car or in any vehicle it causes patella fracture it causes patella fracture it causes patella fracture air bag sir air bag are protective to you but sir these can cause injuries of eye these can cause injuries of eye yes but sir car like you are sitting in a vehicle if car goes is car goes in back part of the truck looks so actually what happens car car is small in size what happens the car goes in back part of the truck this phenomena causes injury to head and shoulder of car occupant this causes injury to head and shoulder of car occupant and of sir this phenomena is known as tail getting this phenomena is known as tail getting tail getting anyways thoda sa revise kar lo what is the most common site of sparrow feet mark most common site of sparrow feet mark yes let me see your answer sparrow feet mark face aortic tear is seen due to injury due to aortic tear 
आपके व्हीकल के कौन से पार्ट के कारण होता है स्टेयरिंग मोस्ट कॉमन साइट ऑफ सीट बेल्ट इंजरी मिसेंट्री वीप्लास इंजरी ऑफ द स्पाइनल कोड इज हाइपर एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द नेक और हाइपर फ्लेक्शन ऑफ द नेक हाइपर एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द नेक पटेला फ्रैक्चर इज ड्यू टू विच पार्ट ऑफ द कार और विच पार्ट ऑफ द व्हीकल पटेला फ्रैक्चर यस इट इज डैशबोर्ड इंजरी डैशबोर्ड जो आपके आगे होता है वट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन साइट ऑफ एयर बैग इंजरी एवरी वन नोज अगर एयर बैग खुलेंगे तो आपके सबसे ज्यादा बछीडा कांक लगेगा यू विल गेट डेमेज टू द आईस एयर बैग इंजरी टेल गेटिंग का मतलब है व्हीकल गोज जस्ट बिहाइंड द कार एंड दिस फिनोमिना इज नॉन एज टेल गेटिंग दिस Phenomena is known as tailgating. So, doctor, you can get a question. What is tailgating? Tailgating is a phenomena where you can get inside the or behind the truck or car. Now, sir, these are possible injury. Now, I am going to discuss pedestrian injury. Sir, you are a pedestrian. This is a vehicle. now we can see what are the example of pedestrian injury see first impact this is first impact of the vehicle this is second impact of the vehicle now of sir first i'll discuss first impact yes vehicle striking pedestrian pedestrian ka matlab jo pedal chalta hai doctor sir this is known as primary impact injury this is known as primary impact injury and sir primary impact injury primary impact injury is on the leg primary impact injury is on the leg yes and of course we have a fracture which is known as bumper fracture bumper fracture is a fracture of tibia bumper fracture is fracture of tibia this is known as primary impact injury now sir you have two future either you will roll over the vehicle or you will be rolled over by a vehicle so if you are rolling over the vehicle there will be multiple injury on the body and if you are rolled over by vehicle there will be tire mark tire mark on the body now sir this is known as this is known as secondary impact injury this is known as secondary impact injury so sometime you get a question tire mark are example of secondary impact injury bumper fracture is example of primary impact injury so these are primary impact and second impact now sir you will be thrown away this one now sir the person will be thrown away when person is thrown away person will strike the ground or any other object will strike the ground or any other object sir this injury is most dangerous injury this is known as tertiary impact injury and sir tertiary impact injuries are also known as secondary injuries tertiary impact injuries are also known as secondary injury why tertiary impact injuries are known as secondary injury sir these are like primary impact is different secondary impact is different tertiary impact are known as secondary injury because these are not by vehicle these are not by vehicle anyway sir these are the type of injury we have these are type of injury we have now i will i will ask some question bumper fracture is seen in which injury bumper fracture of tbi is seen in which injury which injury bumper fracture of tbi पूरा लिखो प्राइमरी मत लिखो गोलगप्पो नॉट प्राइमरी ये प्राइमरी थोड़ी है पूरा लिखो क्या नाम है पूरा इट इज नॉट प्राइमरी फ्रेंड नो इट्स ए प्राइमरी इंपैक्ट इंजरी वेरी गुड यस 
tire mark are example of which injury? Yes, it is secondary impact injury. Okay. Most dangerous injuries are primary impact or secondary impact or tertiary impact. It is tertiary impact injuries are most dangerous injuries. Tertiary impact injuries are also known as tertiary impact injuries are also known as yes, secondary injuries. Yes, Damodaran, absolutely right, my dear friend. Yes, absolutely right. Now, sir, I'm coming to in the same manner, blast injury, blast injury, same manner, primary blast injury, secondary blast injury, tertiary blast injury, and quaternary blast injury, primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary, sir. Primary blast injury, the mechanism is air compression. Primary blast injury, the mechanism is air compression. The surrounding air is compressed after blast. Looks of those organs which are in contact with air, sir, first organ which are Those organs which are in contact with air, the first is tympanic membrane to be damaged. Second is lung. Second is lung. So these are two organs to be damaged. These are two organs to be damaged. So the first organ to be damaged is tympanic membrane. Second is lung. So this is because of air compression leading primary blast injury. This is primary blast injury. Now what is secondary blast? Secondary blast all surrounding object surrounding object will hit your body surrounding object will hit your body so hitting of the body there will be pattern abrasion Pattern, contusion, and pattern laceration. Looks like this triad is known as Marshall's triad. So, objects surrounding you hitting your body, there will be pattern abrasion, pattern contusion and pattern laceration, this will produce a triad. This is known as Marshall's triad. This is known as Marshall's triad. Now come to, sir, another important injury that is tertiary blast. Object hitting you, this is secondary blast. Now you will be thrown away. Thrown away. You will be thrown away. This then you will hit the ground. This is tertiary blast injury. Tertiary blast injury. And what is quaternary blast? Injury produced by burn and flame. Injury produced by burn and flame. This is known as quaternary blast injury. This is known as quaternary blast injury. Quaternary blast injury. Now, Dr. Sab, so you can get a question. Air compression surrounding air leads. So, I say, I have to Air compression leads which injury, my dear friends, of the organ? Which injury? Primary blast or secondary blast? Primary blast. Marshall stride, because of object hitting you, is seen in which injury? Object hitting you. Secondary blast. You are you are in air and then you hit the ground. Which injury is this? Tertiary blast. And Oxab, flame and burn causing injury in your body. What is the name of that injury? Anyone? What is the name of that injury? Yes, it is quaternary blast. It is 
quaternary blast. Very good. So these are the types of injuries. Now, sir, most common organ injured in blunt trauma is spleen. Most common organ injured in penetrating, I told you penetrating, word in stab injury when it goes in cavity, it is liver. Liver, most common organ in penetrating trauma. Blunt trauma is the spleen. Most common organ in underwater blast The answer is intestine. Normally it is lung, but underwater blast. So, sir, these are some common questions. Spleen is the most common organ. Yes, in blunt trauma. Liver is the most common organ in penetrating trauma. Yes. And then most common organ in underwater blast. The answer is yes, no doubt. This is intestine. The answer is intestine. These are some questions which can be asked in examination. Okay, anyway, sir, these are some very, very important MCQ which we discussed here. Now I am coming to the last very important injury, my dear friend, ballistic. Ballistic. Blast hoga to inme se koi bhi injury ho sakti hai. Haan, koi bhi injury ho sakti hai. Primary blast bhi ho sakti hai. Secondary blast bhi ho sakti hai. Depend karta hai kitna bada blast tha. Primary blast ka mechanism hai air compression hai. Secondary blast mein aapke aspas ke object hit karte hai. Tertiary blast mein aap udke jate ho. Or quaternary blast mein aapko jal, aap jalte ho. Jalne se injury. Ballistic. 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 Study of firearm. Study of firearm. This branch is known as ballistic. And Oxav, you can get a question. Father of ballistic is Calvin Goddard. Father of ballistic is Calvin Goddard. Lung, lung bhi hoga. Lung bhi hoga. But agar aap pura immersed ho, to lung nahi hoga. If you are fully immersed, then lung will not be there. Lung is injured when air is in contact. Okay. So that is the reason. Dono mein lung ho sakta. But most common is intestine if it is fully inside the water. Father of ballistic is Calvin Goddard. So see, if this is a weapon, this is a trigger, this is muzzle end, This is barrel. This is barrel, trigger, muzzle. Now, sir, see if the bullet, yes, traversing inside the barrel, if bullet traversing inside the barrel, this branch is known as internal ballistic. Bullet traversing outside the barrel, this branch is known as external ballistic. An effect on the target, T for target, it is known as terminal ballistic. So internal ballistic, external ballistic, and terminal ballistic. On the basis of cross section of barrel, on the basis of cross section of barrel, we can classify weapon in two types rifle firearm and smoothbore firearm. On the basis of cross section of weapon, we can classify weapon in two categories we can classify weapon in two categories. One is, one is rifled firearm. Another is, 
another is smooth bore firearm one is rifle firearm another is smooth bore firearm rifle firearm and smooth bore firearm two type of weapon we have on the basis of cross section we can classify weapon in two categories in two categories now sir when you see rifle firearm inner side rifle firearm inner side you will see elevation and depression like this these elevations are known as land these elevations are known as land land and depression are known as groove elevations are known as land and depressions are known as groove in smooth bore the complete surface is smooth now sir here bullet fires here pellets fires pellets bullet comes one by one pellet comes multiple bullet comes one by one pellet comes multiple so this question also comes in exam the distance between two opposite land the distance between two opposite land this distance is known as caliber the distance between two opposite land the distance between two opposite land this distance is known as caliber bullet and pellet both are composed of lead bullet and pellet both are composed of lead but bullet comes one by one and pellets come multiple friends bullet are coming one by one bullet has rotation so because bullet is coming from the land and groove rotation is present here rotation is absent now sir because of rotation there is increased gyroscopic moment gyroscopic moment is increased there is no change in the gyroscopic moment and sir when there is an increase in the rotation and gyroscopic moment the velocity is high here velocity is low that's why range is good in rifle firearm here range is less actually it's very simple bullet is coming through land and groove land and groove are irregularities land and grooves are irregularities if bullet is coming through the irregularity bullet gets rotation if it is rotated there is increased gyroscopic moment increased velocity increased range so one thing is clear rifle firearm has good range and smooth bore weapon has less range look so this is a very simple difference here bullet is fired here pellets are fired rotation present rotation absent gyroscopic moment velocity and range increase here no gyroscopic moment velocity is less range is less now what are the examples of now what are the examples of rifle firearm and smooth bore firearm see you can see revolver range is 200 yards revolver range is 200 yards pistol range is 400 yards range is 400 yards rifle range is 1000 to 3000 yards these are the example of yes but sir if you see the example of smooth bore weapon if you see these these are the example of rifle firearm if you see the example of smooth bore weapon yes the example is shotgun yes the example is shotgun range is almost 50 yards only it means sir the shotgun has very small range revolver again i am revising my dear friend revolver range is 200 yards pistol range is 400 yards rifle range is the highest range 1000 to 3000 yards shotgun range is just 50 yards 
50 yards. 50 yards. Now, sir, it means smoothbore weapon like shotgun has very short range. How to increase the range? How to increase the range of shotgun? We have two mechanisms. First, see, this is barrel of shotgun. This is barrel of shotgun. First mechanism, the terminal end of the shotgun, this is shotgun, terminal end of the shotgun is constricted. Terminal end of shotgun is constricted. So the pellets are going in a single direction. This phenomena is known as choking. So this is the first thing by which we can increase the range of shotgun. First is choking, terminal end is constricted. Second, what we can do, terminal end has been provided with rifling, that is land and groove. Terminal end has been provided with Rightly. Ram Ram sir. Bhavan ji, Sham ka baat karni padi class chal rahi hai. Terminal end has land and groove. This phenomena is known as rifling. This phenomena is known as rifling. And of course, this gun is known as paradox gun. Doctor, these are two mechanisms. What are two mechanisms by which we can increase the range? First is choking. Second is paradox gun. What is the meaning of choking? Terminal end is constricted. This phenomenon is known as choking. And what is paradox gun? Terminal end is rifled. Rifle means land and groove are provided there. This phenomenon. Doctor, by these two mechanisms, we can increase the range of, we can increase the range of shotgun. Short gun. How, sir? Tell me anything. Like I will ask you a few questions. What is the range of revolver? Anyone? What is the range of revolver? How many yards? Two hundred. Bolo yar. Bolo mat likho. What is the range of pistol? Four hundred yards. What is the range of rifle? Rifle, thousand to three thousand yards. What are the two mechanisms by which we can increase the range of shotgun? We can increase the range of shotgun. What are the two mechanisms? First, choking. Second is paradoxing. Now, ah, rifling. That's a, that is a paradox gun. Paradox gun. Caliber is a word used for rifled firearm or smoothbore firearm. Caliber. Caliber. Rifle firearm. Caliber is a distance between two opposite. Caliber is a distance between two opposite. What is the answer? Two opposite. Yes, this table is continue. Okay. Two opposite length. Okay, done. Now, sir, for smoothbore weapon, we use word bore. What is the meaning of bore? What is the meaning of bore? Sir, like I'm giving example, 12 bore and 24 bore. What is the meaning of 12 bore shotgun and 24 bore shotgun? Sir, this is a lead sphere. This is a lead sphere of 454 gram. This is a lead sphere of 454 gram. Both are lead sphere of 454 gram. Okay. I divided this in 12 part. 12 part and I divided this in 24 part. Ducks are here. Size of one part will be 1 by 12 and here size of one part will be 1 by 24. And of are this size is pellet size. This size is pellet size. It means, sir, what is the meaning of 12 bore gun? 
a 454 gram lead sphere is divided in 12 part it is a 12 bore gun and 24 bore gun a 454 gram lead sphere is divided in 24 part Rakshav, here one pellet size will be 1 by 12 here 1 by 1 pellet size will be 1 by 24 so now tell me now tell me pellet size will be more in pellet size will be more in anyone 12 bore gun or 24 bore gun pellet size will be more in 12 bore gun or 24 bore gun let me know yes the answer will be 12 bore gun it means sir what is the meaning of this yes it's absolutely it is absolutely if bore yes ak47 is a rifle yaar it is yes if bore is more in size of pellet would be less if bore is more size of pellet would be less that is a very very important part okay now this table should be continued no issue now sir these bullet and pellet are present in cartridge this is a cartridge of rifled firearm this is a cartridge of smoothbore firearm sir in rifled firearm cartridges, we will have a single bullet. Yes, this is a single bullet. And smoothbore firearm cartridges, we will have multiple. This is bullet. We will have multiple pellets. Pellets. These are multiple pellets. Sir, in smoothbore and rifled firearm cartridges, we have a powder. Yes, this is a powder. This powder is known as gunpowder. I will discuss gunpowder. But sir, in smoothbore firearm cartridges, we have one thing. This is known as felt wed. Felt wed is only present in smoothbore one cartridge. That is a lubricant. Felt wed is a lubricant. In the base of cartridge, in the base of cartridge, we have primer. Primer is the first thing which burns. That is a primer. But sir, anyways, main thing is a gunpowder. Gunpowder. Because why main thing is a gunpowder? When gunpowder burns, GP, GP is gunpowder. When gunpowder burns, smoke produces, and smoke because of smoke, pressure increases in cartridge. So when pressure increases, bullet will be fired and pellets will be fired. That's a very simple mechanism. When gunpowder burns, Gunpowder burns, smoke produces, dhuan nikalta hai. And because of smoke, pressure increases. And of sub, increase in pressure here, increase in pressure here, this bullet and pellets fired. Bullet and pellets fired. This is the mechanism. This is the mechanism. First primer burns, then gunpowder burns. First primer burns, then gunpowder burns. Anyway, sir, felt wed is only present. Felt wed is only present in shotgun cartridge, not in rifled fire. Felt wed. Now, sir, write down gunpowder. Gunpowder. First, I will discuss types of gunpowder. First is a black gunpowder. Types of gunpowder. First is a black gunpowder. What is black gunpowder? Black gunpowder is potassium nitrate, 75%. Potassium nitrate, 75%. Charcoal, 15%. And sulfur, 10%. This is the composition of black gunpowder. Again, I'm revising my dear friend. Potassium nitrate 
charcoal 15% yes and sulfur 10% this is a composition of black gunpowder second gunpowder is a smokeless gunpowder second gunpowder is a smokeless gunpowder it has three type single base double base and triple base single base double base and triple base single base contain nitro cellulose double base contain nitro cellulose plus nitroglycerin and triple base contain nitro cellulose nitro cellulose plus nitroglycerin plus nitro guanidine guanidine these are example of again i am revising my dear friend black gunpowder contain potassium nitrate charcoal sulfur black gunpowder contain potassium nitrate charcoal sulfur smokeless gunpowder single base contain nitrocellulose double base contain nitrocellulose plus single base mein single hoga nitrocellulose double base has nitrocellulose plus nitroglycerin triple base contain nitrocellulose nitroglycerin and nitroguanidine these are the examples of gunpowder gun powder two type of gunpowder now sir on gunpowder on gunpowder what is mentioned fg double fg triple fg doc sab more f more f finer gunpowder more f finer gunpowder means thin gunpowder so the number of f are more yes number of f are more gunpowder will be more fine yes absolutely right the number of f are more more f finer gunpowder more f finer gunpowder fine thin gunpowder will be there that is the meaning of f what are the test for detection of gunpowder you can remember by hand hands h for harrison test h for harrison test a for atomic absorption a for atomic absorption spectroscopy atomic absorption spectroscopy and for neutron activation analysis neutron activation analysis d for dermal nitrate test which is also known as paraffin test and as for as for scanning electron microscope scanning electron microscope technique this is known as semdexa scanning electron microscope this technique is known as semdexa anyway sir this test is not used nowadays again i am revising my dear friend what are the test for detection of gunpowder revising this harrison test number 1 number 1 test is harrison test number 2 is atomic absorption spectroscopy in short it is known as as neutron activation analysis it is known as na dermal nitrate test which is known as paraffin test and scanning electron microscope semdexa test these are the test for this is considered as a best test anyways 
write down these are the tests for detection of bullet or gunpowder these are the tests for detection of bullet or gunpowder bullet or gunpowder gunpowder more f denotes more f denotes gunpowder is more thicker or thinner finer that is thinner thinner which test is not used for nowadays for gunpowder detection which test is not used yes paraffin and dermal nitrate test paraffin or dermal nitrate test paraffin and dermal nitrate test felt wad is present in wad is present in the, the cartridge of rifled firearm or shotgun rifled firearm or shotgun wad wad is present in rifled firearm or shotgun shotgun it's not present in rifled firearm cartridge okay shotgun okay 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 so again these are some very important point my dear friend what is the composition of black gun powder what is the composition of black gun powder anyone black gun powder potassium nitrate yes charcoal yes sulfur potassium nitrate charcoal and sulfur okay very good now sir write down we have discussed the gunpowder write down types of bullet types of bullet sir first is dum dum bullet i will show you the picture of dum dum bullet sir what is dum dum bullet the terminal end of bullet like this this terminal end of bullet is chiseled out terminal end of bullet is chiseled out so whenever it strike the object it will cause explosion dum dum bullet the terminal end of the bullet is chiseled out and observe this question also comes in exam it is maximum damaging bullet it is maximum damaging bullet dum dum bullet first bullet second bullet express bullet sir express bullet the base of bullet express bullet the base of bullet contain hole that's why it has high velocity high velocity bullet is a express bullet the base of the bullet <coughs> contain hole high velocity bullet express bullet tracer bullet sir as the name suggests tracer bullet wherever it goes it liberates powder so we are able to trace it it liberates powder we are able to trace it this is a tracer bullet incendiary bullet sir incendiary bullet contain phosphorus express bullet contain hole in the base to iske niche hole hota hai isliye high, highest velocity hoti hai tracer bullet we can trace it because it liberates powder incendiary bullet contain phosphorus sir frangible bullet f for frangible f for it divides in fragments f for frangible bullet f for it divides in fragments so fragmented bullet is a frangible bullet sir glancing bullet g for glancing bullet 
G for it causes gutter fracture. That's a very simple trick. So what is this bullet? Touch and go. Just touch and goes. That is known as G G. Glancing bullet. Glancing bullet. Number seven. Souvenir bullet. As for souvenir, which present in skin and subcutaneous tissue for long time. If bullet is present in skin and subcutaneous tissue for a long time, this is known as souvenir bullet. Souvenir bullet. Plastic or baton bullet. Plastic or baton bullet. It is composed of polyvinyl chloride. PP. It is composed of. So, doctor, you can see F F G G S S P P polyvinyl chloride. This is known as plastic bullet or baton bullet. Then ricochet bullet. Ricochet bullet. Which strike the object, which strike the object, ricochet bullet, which strike the object and deflect it. So this deflected bullet is known as ricochet bullet. Deflected bullet is a ricochet bullet. And of sir, it means sir, the feature of the entry wound. Because it is a deflected bullet, when it is deflected from some object, then it goes in your body. This deflected bullet is known as ricochet bullet. Number ten, yawning bullet. Slow and irregular bullet. Slow and irregular bullet like this. This is known as yawning bullet. tumbling bullet which tumbles on end any bullet which tumbles on end like this is a bullet it tumbles on one end another end this is known as tumbling bullet ricochet bullet strike the object and deflect it ricochet bullet is strike the object and deflect it yawning bullet slow and irregular bullet and tumbling bullet which tumbles on the end this is known as tumbling bullet this is known as tumbling bullet and the last one is tandem bullet friends tandem bullet is also known as piggy back bullet tandem bullet is also known as piggy back bullet so, sir what is tandem bullet sir c this is the first bullet it is present here and the second bullet pushes first bullet second bullet pushes first bullet so both bullet coming simultaneously two bullets coming simultaneously out this is known as tandem bullet tandem bullet two bullets coming simultaneously second bullet pushing one that is a tandem bullet tandem bullet and of so what is tandem cartridge what is tandem cartridge this is a cartridge if two bullets are present in single cartridge again answer is two if two bullets are present in single cartridge this is known as tandem cartridge two bullets are present in a single cartridge so there will be two entry wound definitely two bullets are present in single cartridge this is a tandem cartridge chalo mere sath jawab do pehle aapko kuch picture dikha deta hu i will show you some picture then you can see pehle to revise karo bullet deflected from the target is known as 
bullet deflected from the target is known as anyone yes it is a ricochet bullet yes it is a ricochet bullet very good it is a ricochet bullet bullet deflected from the target is known as ricochet bullet very good second fragments dividing bullet fragments mein divide hoti hai this bullet is known as anyone this is yes frangible bullets which bullet deposited in skin and subcutaneous tissue skin and subcutaneous tissue deposition bullet is known as souvenir bullet absolutely right it is souvenir bullet one bullet pushing another bullet so two bullets coming out are example of which bullet two bullets coming out are example of which bullet yes friends it is tandem bullet absolutely right maximum damaging bullet is known as maximum damaging bullet is known as maximum damaging bullet it is dum dum bullet because the terminal end is chiseled out yes slow and irregular bullet is known as slow and irregular bullet is known as yes it is yawning bullet which bullet contain phosphorus which bullet contain phosphorus incendiary bullet now doctor sir you can see this picture can you see the picture yes shotgun cartridges sir what is the difference between shotgun cartridges i told you this is a cartridge of shotgun these are the pellets yes i told you these are the pellets these are the pellets can you see the picture can you see the picture yes okay this is shotgun cartridges okay no issue sir this is dum dum bullet very very important the terminal end is chiseled out this is known as dum dum bullet this will cause maximum damage this will cause maximum damage this is known as dum dum bullet this is known as dum dum bullet sir this is cartridge this is a cartridge of shotgun and this is a cartridge of rifle firearm yes here you can see bullet here we have pellets these are pellets this is wad i told you this is gunpowder gp whatever i told you that is present here anyways this is a very very simple so no issue these are given in diagram only these are cartridges okay now sir bullet as i told you bullet is composed of lead velocity of bullet is equally proportional to fatality of bullet velocity of bullet is equally proportional to fatality of bullet fatality of bullet prabhakaran this topic comes in exam this is a very important one sir bahut boring topic hai kya kare boring hai to padhna to padega na exam mein chhod nahi sakte now sir if bullets are present in crime scene if but observe it's very important topic for forensic because when you conduct the post mortem you have to examine the bullet because you take bullets out from the body bullets are present in the crime scene bullets are present in the crime scene and this question comes how do we pick bullet how do we pick bullet doctor sir bullet has to be picked by hand don't use any instrument after wearing gloves this question comes in exam my dear friend bullet has to be picked by hand after wearing gloves don't ever use any instrument this question comes in exam in crime scene how do we pick the bullet why are we picking bullet by hand why not by any instrument because sir every bullet has two marking one is primary marking 
another is secondary marking every bullet has two marking one is primary marking another is secondary marking bullet has to be picked by hand only every bullet has two marking primary marking sir primary marking decide class of a bullet class of a bullet and secondary marking is individual marking now sir how to differentiate this sir primary marking is decided by manufacturing specification manufacturing company manufacturing company yes taksar it means like reliance company reliance company has formed 100 pistol and these 100 pistol has for these 100 pistol we have 10 lakh bullet sir these old 10 lakh bullet will have same primary marking these old 10 lakh bullet will have same primary marking why because sir these old 10 lakh bullet has same class that is 100 pistol from same manufacturing company same manufacturing company but sir see when bullets fired like this is a weapon barrel when bullet is coming out from the weapon now sir this individual gun this individual gun this form marking this individual gun for every bullet that forms marking this is secondary marking this is secondary marking and doc sir this secondary marking is also known as fingerprint of firearm this secondary marking is also known as fingerprint of firearm or it is also known as bullet fingerprint this is known as secondary marking when bullet comes out doc sir mere sath revise karna listen carefully listen carefully very very carefully doc sir the manufacturing specification which is designed by a company decide the marking what is the name of that marking my dear friend what is the name of that marking what is the name of that marking primary or secondary primary okay primary marking but when bullet is coming out through the firearm that individual firearm produces marking on the bullet what is the name of that marking secondary marking it is a very interesting topic my dear friend it's not a boring topic according to me it is the best and most interesting topic of forensic medicine isn't it it is the most interesting topic of forensic medicine it's not boring at all i don't know prabhakaran why did he say like it's a boring topic it's never a boring topic it is a so it is a secondary marking now doc sir if you get a question now i putting a question in front of you bullet fingerprint is an example of primary marking or secondary marking bullet fingerprint is an example of primary marking or secondary marking secondary marking so another question okay if you are picking if you are picking like see this is a bullet this is a bullet you pick this bullet by an instrument like forceps you pick the bullet by instrument that is a forceps and this forceps produces marking on the bullet this is also a secondary marking doc sir secondary marking is any marking which may be when the bullet is going through the weapon or maybe after coming out of the weapon this marking is a secondary mark bullet fingerprint produced by the firearm is a secondary mark individual weapon producing marking on the weapon is secondary marking 
if you pick a bullet by instrument there is a marking this is also a second mark very very important of sub bullets should always be picked by hand because these produces yes these produces marking now sir how to differentiate entry wound from exit wound now first see the size sir entry wound is generally small in size exit wound is comparatively large small large but sir there is exception there we have exception that is contact shot that is contact shot contact point blank sir in point blank entry wound is large and exit wound is small that's the difference sir why in contact shot it's large because it is a contact there will be brushing of the skin so in contact shot you will see it is tilted shape or it is also known as cruciate shape it is star shape tilted shape or it is known as cruciate shape why it is large sir because there is no gap between the weapon and the rails are brushing of the skin this is contact shot so in contact shot it is large exception and exit wound is small yes large small small large now sir margins margins is inverted like this inverted means like this inverted in exit inverted inverted now sir another important word coming to margins are inverted inverted tissue color sir what is tissue color in entry wound see we have smoke smoke has carbon monoxide carbon monoxide combined with hemoglobin it forms carboxy hemoglobin carboxy hemoglobin provides cherry red color so tissue color in entry wound because smoke produces this is because of smoke but sir there is no effect of smoke in exit wound no color change cherry red color of tissue in entry wound not in exit wound sir abrasion color may be present in entry wound absent in exit wound abrasion color may be present in entry wound absent in exit wound sir muzzle impression like this is muzzle end muzzle end if this muzzle end forms a impression that can be present yes it is absent plus minus plus minus that can be present that is absent muzzle impression muzzle impression that can be present very very important now sir if it is a short gun if it is a short gun entry wound has three type of shape if it is a short gun entry wound has a three type of shape this is ors what is ors oval shape rat hole shape and satellite shape oval shape rat hole shape and satellite shape oval shape is seen when short gun is less than 1 meter rat hole shape is seen when short gun is 1 to 2 meter and satellite shape is seen when the short gun is more than 2 meter meter away these shape are not seen in exit wound again i am revising my dear friend generally size is in entry wound is small exception is contact shot margin are inverted tissue is cherry red in entry wound abrasion color and muzzle impression can be present in entry wound and in short gun the shape of entry wound we can remember by a very simple trick ors 
O R S. Now, sir, entry wound has hole. There is a phenomena which is known as S B T phenomena. Entry wound has a phenomena. This is known as S B T phenomena. What is S B T? S B T. What is S B T? S for singeing of hair it is because of flame effect because flame touches the skin produces singing singeing blackening surrounding the tissue it is because of burnt gunpowder gps gunpowder tattooing is unburnt gunpowder which goes surrounding the entry wound skin sir this phenomena is present sbt phenomena present in entry wound absent in exit wound and of sub this sbt decide range of weapon this sbt decide range of weapon sbt decides range of weapon singeing is because of flame touching the skin there will be burning of the hair what is the singeing of hair burning of hair is because of flame effect burnt gunpowder deposited surrounding the entry wound blackening unburnt gunpowder yes unburnt gunpowder goes inside the skin that is tattoo so this is spt decide range but these this is absent this is absent this is absent in exit wound all are exit all are absent in exit now see i will show you some picture sometime this picture comes in exam yes we have seen this one this is a dum dum bullet we have seen this one it is a very important picture we have seen all these pictures images very important sir this is tattooing sir this is tattooing is burnt gunpowder or unburnt gunpowder it is unburnt gunpowder goes in the skin this is known as tattooing one phenomena tattoo surrounding the it is present surrounding the exit wound or entry wound yes it is entry now you can see this is entry wound you can see now tell me the margins of entry wound are inverted or inverted you can see in this one you can see it is going inside this is inverted inverted margin sir as i told you star shape entry wound anyone star shape entry wound it is contact shot star shape entry wound and even you can see sir here it is going inside here it is going inside it is inverted march inverted march inverted march okay so doctor sir again i am speaking just revise with me it's a very important topic my dear friends mere sath thoda revise karna okay let me explain again अरे भाई रिलायंस वाला नहीं मैं रिलायंस तो ऐसे ही बोला कोई भी कंपनी बुलेट्स को बनाती है जैसे मैंने हजार बुलेट बनाई दस वेपन के लिए तो उन सब की क्लास सेम होगी दिस इज प्राइमरी मार्किंग ऑफ द बुलेट विच इज डिसाइडेड बाई मैनुफेक्चरिंग कंपनी विच इज डिसाइडेड सर आप टेबल के स्टार्टिंग कौन सा क्या टेबल स्टार्टिंग टेबल स्टार्टिंग ओके एक मिनट यस यहां से यस सर एग्जिट वाउंड लार्ज और स्मॉल लार्ज है ना आपने स्मॉल लिख रखा अरे करम जले ये क्या है अच्छा उधर ठीक है समझ समझ ठीक है सर बट मैंने एक्सेप्शन एक्सेप्शन क्या बोला कॉन्टेक्ट शॉट कॉन्टेक्ट शॉट में क्या है एग्जिट वाउंड स्मॉल स्मॉल ठीक है सर ओके स्टिल एट क्योंकि कॉन्टेक्ट शॉट में कौन सी शेप होता अभी तो पढ़ाया दे दे शेप दिस इज द शेप कॉन्टेक्ट Okay. margins inverted tissue color cherry red in entry wound 
एब्रेजन कलर एब्रेजन कोलर एब्रेजन एक कोलर होता है प्रेजेंट हो सकती है मजल इंप्रेशन दैट कैन बी प्रेजेंट शॉर्ट गन शेप ओ आर एस एंट्री वन सिंजिंग एस बी टी वॉट इज एस बी टी सिंजिंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ फ्लेम इफेक्ट ब्लैकनिंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ बर्न गन पाउडर टैटूइंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ अन बर्न गन पाउडर गोइंग इन द स्किन दिस इज टेन दीज आर नेवर प्रेजेंट इन एम सी टी ओके नाउ सर फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड वन इज कैनेडी फिनोमिना What is Kennedy phenomena? Sir, like you got <coughs> gunshot injured patient, surgery. So a person is going for surgery because of surgical alteration. Because of surgical, मतलब एक आदमी ने surgery की, gunshot injury की, surgical alteration of entry wound. Or exit wound. Person has gone through the surgery. Entry wound or exit wound are altered. Now, sir, in post mortem, it becomes difficult to identify. In post mortem, it becomes difficult to identify which is entry wound. and which is exit wound sir this phenomena is known as kennedy phenomena means sir very simple surgeon goes for surgery every end in exit wound he cleans everything but if this person dies if this person dies sir in post mortem it becomes very difficult to identify which is entry wound which is exit wound this phenomena is kennedy phenomena in a very simple word surgical alteration leading difficulty in identifying entry or exit wound is kennedy phenomena surgery alteration surgical alteration now sir very important word comes pupes rule sir pupes rule is used for skull bone in skull bone we see fracture lines and we decide sequence of bullets we decide sequence of bullet by fracture line see this is skull bone this is first bullet fracture line first bullet fracture line this is first bullet fracture line first now the second bullet came this is second bullet fracture line this is second bullet this fracture line will never cross first one now third bullet fracture line third bullet fracture line this is third bullet fracture line this will never cross second as well as first it means sir first is a wide fracture line second never crosses first third never crosses second as well as any other fracture line it means sir by these fracture line we can decide sequence of bullet in skull bone this is known as pupes rule this is known as pupes rule सबसे वाइड फ्रैक्चर लाइन सबसे वाइड फ्रैक्चर लाइन आपकी है फर्स्ट की सेकंड नेवर क्रोसेस फर्स्ट हेलो नमस्कार नमस्कार मैं क्लास पच्चीस बात करूं सर नहीं सर मैं आपने कॉल करूं साढ़े सात स्कल बोन फ्रैक्चर लाइन फर्स्ट की फ्रैक्चर लाइन आपके सबसे वाइड होती है सेकंड नेवर प्रोसेस फर्स्ट थर्ड नेवर प्रोसेस बिकॉज जिसकी फ्रैक्चर लाइन पहले बन गई है दैट विल नॉट बी क्रॉस बाय द नेक्स्ट फ्रैक्चर लाइन थर्ड विल नेवर क्रॉस सेकंड एज वेल एज फर्स्ट फोर्थ विल नेवर क्रॉस थर्ड एज वेल एज सेकंड एज वेल एज फर्स्ट इट मीन सर 
by this we can decide the sequence of bullet what is the name of this rule my dear friend what is the name of this rule bolo kya naam iska poppes rule poppes rule look sir in a stab injury in a stab injury if bullet is implanted in stab injury और सब कई बार क्या होता है आपने मारा तो चाकू से यू स्टेप बाय नाइफ बट यू जस्ट पुट ए बुलेट दिस इज ए आर्टिफैक्ट एंड सर दिस इज नॉन एज रॉयल सीमा इफेक्ट ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यू आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस एमसीक्यू दैट इज रॉयल सीमा फिनोमिना इन अ स्टेप इंजरी यू आर पुटिंग बुलेट दिस इज नॉन एज रॉयल सीमा इफेक्ट Sima effect. By bullet, you have tibia fracture. By bullet, you have tibia fracture. This is a butterfly fracture. This is known as butterfly fracture. By bullet, you have a tibia fracture. This is known as butterfly fracture. There is an instrument. which is known as helixometer helixometer is used to examine barrel of weapon helixometer is used to examine barrel of the weapon now sir the last word of firearm injury is beveling of skull bone the last word of firearm injury is beveling of the skull bone sir see this is a skull bone outer table this is inner table this is outer table of the skull bone this is inner table of the skull bone outer table of this this is entry wound this is exit wound. now sir this bullet is coming from here okay tau 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 bullet is coming this is brain this is your brain brain this bullet is entering whenever bullet enters it enters as a small hole tau 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 but at the exit point at the exit point it causes bursting so this bursting is always seen at the exit point okay tau 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 bullet is again at the entry point it is a small hole okay but again at the exit point again at the exit point it causes bursting now sir this bursting is known as beveling this bursting is known as beveling beveling look sir whenever bullet enters in a table it enters as a small hole but at the exit point of the table it causes bursting at the exit point of the table it causes bursting this bursting this bursting is known as beveling so beveling is always seen at the exit point of the table now i am putting four question write down write down the answer okay okay my first question sbt decide range of all guns taruja sbt decide range of all guns because sbt is present in all entry wounds singeing blacking and now sir see first question beveling in entry wound first question beveling in entry wound is seen at option a entry point of the table exit point of the table what is the answer beveling in entry wound seen at 
entry point of the table or exit point of the table yes it is exit point beveling in exit wound is seen at entry point of the table or exit point of the table entry point of the table or exit point of the table what is the answer exit wound it is seen at entry point of the table or exit point of the table yes it is exit point of the table now listen question carefully now listen question carefully beveling in entry wound is seen towards in a table or outer table seen towards in a table or outer table anyone in a table or outer table yes dharani it is inner table this is inner table absolutely right beveling in exit wound is seen towards in a table or outer table let me get your answer in a table or outer table yes it is outer table it is outer table yes absolutely right tab aapko samajhna hai beveling is a breasting whenever bullet enters in a table it enters as a small hole whenever bullet enters in a table it enters as a small hole but at the exit point it makes ma hole phat jati hai at the exit point it is making breasting of table this is ab chalo aapka rapid revision karwata hu bahut important hai manufacturing company decides which marking of the bullet which marking of the bullet manufacturing company decides which marking of the bullet let me see primary marking firearm fingerprint on the bullet is an example of primary marking or secondary marking firearm fingerprint okay it is secondary marking surgeon alters the entry wound and exit wound what is the name of phenomena surgeon alters the entry wound and exit wound what is the name of phenomena Kennedy phenomena. Kennedy phenomena. Very good. Which instrument is used to decide the interior of the barrel? Which instrument is used to decide the interior of the barrel? Helixometer. Doctor Sir, we can see the different fracture line, fracture line, fracture line. first second third second never crosses first third never crosses second what is the name of this rule what is the name of this rule puppe's rule very good it is known as puppe's rule very good my dear friend puppe's rule ek question hai and ek question hai sir ha bolo sir बस्टिंग तो सर इनर टेबिल में भी दिख रहा है एग्जिट यून में और एग्जिट यून में आउटर टेबिल में भी दिख रहा है हां हां तो यही तो बोला मैंने अच्छा मतलब दोनों में दिखेगा सर अरे इसी देख जब एंट्री वुंड होता है एंट्री वुंड होता है तो जब उसके एग्जिट पॉइंट में निकलता है तो उसको ब्रस्टिंग बोलते हैं जब अरे सीधी सी बात है तो रोजा बहुत सिंपल है जब भी बुलेट टेबल में घुसती है तो छोटे से होल की तरह घुसती है लेकिन जब टेबल से निकलती है तो फाड़ के निकलती है इस फटने को बोलते हैं ब्रस्टिंग या बेवलिंग क्या बोलते हैं इसको ब्रस्टिंग या बेवलिंग तो ये ब्रस्टिंग और बेवलिंग एंट्री में कौन से टेबल की तरफ है एंट्री तो सही सर एंट्री में या एग्जिट में एंट्री पूछ रहा हूं एंट्री सर इनर टेबल की तरफ हाँ और एग्जिट वन में कौन से टेबल की तरफ है आउटर टेबल की तरफ बस हाँ लेकिन दोनों एग्जिट पॉइंट पे टेबल के तो एग्जिट पॉइंट पे ना दोनों हाँ टेबल के एग्जिट पॉइंट में यस दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज आस्किंग ओके सर देख देख सी सी दिस इज अ डायग्राम ओके सर दिस इज इनर टेबल ऑफ द स्कल बोन ओके दिस इनर टेबल ऑफ द स्कल बोन इज शोइंग बेवलिंग नाउ टेल मी दिस इज अ एंट्री वुंड और एग्जिट वुंड नाउ टेल मी दिस इनर टेबल ऑफ द स्कल बोन शोइंग बेवलिंग ब्रस्टिंग Now tell me, it is entry wound or exit wound? I I want to get your answer. Yes, absolutely right, Dharani. Absolutely right, Sanu. It is entry wound. You got the concept? Are yes or no? Are yes or no? Got it, sir. Got it, sir. Yes. Yes. Now this is Pappe's rule. This is the high widest first, second never crosses first. third will never cross second as well as by this we decide range of the bullet or sequence of the bullet range of the bullet or sequence of the bullet c 
sequence of the bullet. We can decide which came first, which came second, which came third, which came fourth. Yes, this is a yes, sequence of the bullet. Damodaran, agar tere ko abhi samaj mein nahi aaya, to kuch bhi samaj mein nahi aayega. Skull bone mein do table hoti hai. Jab bullet table mein gusti hai, to ek chote se hole se gusti hai. Jab nikalti hai table se, to wo phat jati hai. Is phatne ko brushing aur beveling bolte hai. Jo एंट्री वुंड में अंदर फटेगी एग्जिट वुंड में बाहर जाते वक्त फटेगी दैट इज इन एंट्री वुंड इट इज इनसाइड द टेबल दैट इज इनर टेबल एंड इन एग्जिट वुंड इट विल बी आउटसाइड द टेबल दैट इज आउटर टेबल एंड इट इज ऑलवेज टुवर्ड्स द एग्जिट वुंड सीधी सी बात है यार बुलेट जब टेबल में घुसती है तो छोटा सा होल बनाती है जब निकलती है तो माहौल बनाती है क्या बनाती है डॉक्टर साहब माहौल बनाती है सेकेंडरी मार्किंग आर द मार्किंग ऑन बुलेट व्हिच इज फॉर्म बाय individual firearm this is known as secondary marking but these can also be these can also be when you are picking the bullet by any instrument these are also secondary marking okay yes swati is it okay is it okay okay firearm ki jo marking hoti hai bullet ki usko bolte hai secondary mark usko hum fingerprint bhi bolte hai bullet fingerprint now doctor sir agar aapne stab injury mein बुलेट फिट कर दी व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ फिनोमिना व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ फिनोमिना रायल सीमा दर एनी एब्सोल्युटली राइट रायल सीमा फिनोमिना वेरी गुड व्हिच इफेक्ट ऑफ द एंट्री वुंड इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ फ्लेम इफेक्ट फ्लेम ऑफ बुलेट दैट इज सराउंडिंग द एंट्री व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट इफेक्ट फ्लेम प्रोड्यूसेस विच इफेक्ट ऑफ एंट्री वुंड क्या नाम होता है इस इफेक्ट का फ्लेम से एंट्री वुंड में क्या बनता है सिंजिंग यस बंट गन पाउडर बंट गन पाउडर की स्मोक से बंट गन पाउडर जो होता है उसके धुएं से स्मोक ऑफ द बंट गन पाउडर विच इफेक्ट स्मोक ऑफ द बंट गन पाउडर फॉर्म विच इफेक्ट पाउडर फॉर्म्स ब्लैकनेस एब्सोलूटली राइट Smog of the burnt gun powder it forms blackness. Very good. Unburnt gun powder deposited surrounding the entry wound forms. Unburnt gun powder, burnt gun powder smog, it causes blackening. Unburnt gun powder surrounding the entry wound forms. Yes, it is tattooing. Absolutely right, friends. Tattooing. Tattooing. Muzzle impression is seen in. एंट्री वुंड और एग्जिट वुंड मजल इंप्रेशन कैन बी सीन इन एंट्री बिकॉज एग्जिट में तो मजल इंप्रेशन होगा ही नहीं एब्रेजन कॉलर इज सीन इन एंट्री वुंड और एग्जिट वुंड एब्रेजन कॉलर एब्रेजन कॉलर Very good. Paradox gun is a modification of rifle firearm or shotgun. Paradox gun is a modification of rifle firearm or shotgun. It is a modification of. What is modified? Which gun is modified in paradox gun? Shotgun. Shotgun is. हाँ शॉर्ट गन इज राइफल एट द टर्मिनल एंड इज नॉन एज पैराडॉक्स गन यस चौकिंग फिनोमिना इज यूज इन विच गन चौकिंग फिनोमिना अगेन द आंसर इज शॉर्ट गन यस शॉर्ट गन अगेन द आंसर इज शॉर्ट गन नाउ डॉक्टर साहब दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक हो सकता है मेरे को नहीं लगता आपको ऐसे किसी को बोरिंग लगा होगा ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है दोस्तों yes, मैंने इंटरेस्टिंग है ना मस्त टॉपिक था मेरे को लगता है फॉरेंसिक मेडिसिन का सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक यही था सर ये में जो पाया जाता है सर उसका पिक्चर होगा सर सर क्या होता है ना देख मेरी बात सुन 
कॉलर का मतलब कॉलर कॉलर का मतलब जो चारों तरफ से सराउंडिंग होती है उसको बोलते हैं कॉलर एब्रेजन बनाती हुई कॉलर मतलब देख दिस इज बुलेट दिस इज बुलेट दिस विल मेक ए एब्रेजन सराउंडिंग द एंट्रीन दैट इज एब्रेजन कॉलर दैट कैन बी प्रेजेंट इन एंट्रीन ओनली इफ द बुलेट इज ऑब्लिक इफ बुलेट इज ऑब्लिक टाइम होगा तो दिखा दूंगा पिक्चर बट तुम्हारे एग्जाम में आएगा नहीं Now, Dr. We are coming to very, very important topic that is asphyxial death. Death due to asphyxia. So, what is the meaning of asphyxia? Lack of oxygen. Lack of oxygen. This is known as asphyxia. Dr. In asphyxial death, there is a classical triad. This classical triad is present known as CPC. So, if CPC present, that means there is asphyxial death. What is CPC? C for cyanosis, P for fatigue, and C for congestion. Cyanosis, fatigue, and congestion. This classical triad is known as CPC. Cyanosis, everyone knows, is bluish discoloration. Cyanosis, everyone knows, is a bluish discoloration. Fatigue are pinpoint hemorrhage. Pinpoint hemorrhage. Congestion are red organs. Congestions are red organs. red organs red skin this is known as cpc cyanosis is bluish coloration of mucous membrane in skin this classical triad is known as cpc now sir fatigue fatigue are pinpoint hemorrhages one type of fatigue is known as tardive spot one type of fatigue are known as tardive spot sir generally tardive spot size is 0.1 to 2 mm these are petechial hemorrhages these are seen in neck compression and chest compression these are seen in neck compression and chest compression asphyxial death tardive spot size are 0.1 to 2 mm these are petechial hemorrhages and dr sab what is the site where these tardive spots are seen tardive spots are seen in conjunctiva and these are seen in neck compression and chest compression it means sir these two type of asphyxial death tardive spots are seen these two type of asphyxial death what is the most common site of tardive spot my dear friend What is the most common site of tardive spot? Conjunctiva. Conjunctiva. And Dr. Sir, this is outside. It is seen in conjunctiva. Okay, but sir, inside, it is seen in visceral pleura. Inside, tardive spots are seen in visceral pleura. So, if CPC is present, it is petechial. cyanosis and congestion these are present it is yes it is asphyxial death if cyanosis fatigue and congestion are present it is a asphyxial death tardive spot are pinpoint hemorrhage tardive spots are pinpoint hemorrhage yes sir this was a very famous case this is a example of asphyxial death and here you can see cpc yes this is cyanosis this is petechi petechial and this face is congested red color face this is a classical triad of asphyxial death cyanosis petechi and congestion cyanosis petechi and congestion and as i told you as i told you my dear friend this is tardive spot but sir tardive spot are petechial hemorrhage 
seen in conjunctiva in which asphyxial death all asphyxial death or death in which what is compressed my dear friend what is compressed neck and chest it is seen in neck and chest compression it is seen in neck and chest compression this is known as tardive sport doctor if you get at this image sir tardive sport is a image of asphyxial death where neck and chest compresses most common site is conjunctiva most common site is conjunctiva anyway sir doctor sir this question comes tardive sports are petechial hemorrhages these are seen in neck and chest compression visceral pleura and conjunctiva is the common site common site is now sir surrounding neck this is your neck this is your neck surrounding neck you have four vital structure in front you have trachea yes in this side you have two vital structure jugular vein and carotid artery jugular vein and carotid artery and here you have in posterior part vertebral artery vertebral artery this is trachea now sir what amount of pressure is required for this structure you can remember by a very simple mnemonic jct what kilogram pressure is required to obstruct this structure for jugular vein 2 kg for carotid artery 5 kg for trachea 15 kg for vertebral artery 30 kg this amount of pressure is required to obstruct this structure so doctor sir you can get a question minimum pressure is required of minimum pressure is required you can remember by jct jct now i am putting a question for jugular vein how much pressure is required my dear friend for jugular vein how much pressure is required 2 kg to obstruct for carotid artery how much pressure is required for carotid artery how much pressure is required 5 kg for trachea this question has come in mca exam for trachea how much pressure is required 15 and for vertebral artery yes my dear friend it is 30 kg 30 30 kg doctor minimum pressure is required to obstruct which structure minimum pressure for jugular vein maximum pressure is required to obstruct which structure maximum vertebral artery vertebra nahi vertebral artery vertebral artery jo piche hoti now sir we'll discuss asphyxial death one by one the first asphyxial death is suffocation first asphyxial death is suffocation doctor suffocation means you are getting suffocated you are getting suffocated dam ghutna hindi mein suffocation ko bolte hain dam ghutna sir it is the purest form of asphyxia it is the purest form of asphyxia why do we consider it is a purest form of asphyxia sir here asphyxia always takes place yeah. लोग राइट करवा देगा मेरी उसके एंड में तो सेटअप जल्दी से चलता है ये जो एस्फिक्सिया इज ऑलवेज अ कॉज ऑफ डेथ नो अदर कॉज ऑफ डेथ एस्फिक्सिया इज ऑलवेज अ कॉज ऑफ डेथ दिस इज सफोकेशन दम घुटना दम 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 घुटता है घुटता है यहां दम घुटता है सर एक आदमी का दम कैसे घुटता है यू आर इन दिल्ली यू आर फीलिंग वन सफोकेशन एवरी डे एनवायरमेंटल लैक ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एनवायरमेंटल लैक ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दिस इज द फर्स्ट सफोकेशन यू आर फीलिंग इन दिल्ली वेरी कॉमन सेकेंड इफ एनी फूड पार्टिकल गोज इन ट्रेकिया और रेस्पिरेटरी पेस्ट्रीज this is choking second suffocation is choking food particle it goes in trachea or any respiratory passage it is choking 
cloth piece goes in oro pharynx gagging sir in suffocation always there will be cpc cpc always present because it's always cause of death is asphyxia first suffocation aapke aas pass oxygen ki kami it's a, it may be a air pollution it may be कार के अंदर पोल्यूशन थिएटर के अंदर पोल्यूशन घर में सिगड़ी लगा रखी उसका पोल्यूशन अंगीठी सिगड़ी मतलब अंगीठी फूड इन ट्रे की आइस चोकिंग क्लोथ इन लाइक समटाइम यू आर पुटिंग क्लोथ टू कीप माउथ शट बट दिस क्लोथ गोज इन ओरोफेरिंग्स दैट कैन कॉज गैगिंग सर ओरल पेस्टेज एंड नेजल पेस्टेज ब्लॉक साइमल्टेनियसली दिस इज नॉन एस मॉदरिंग this is known as smothering hmm this is this is known as smothering number 5 number 5 traumatic asphyxia sir traumatic asphyxia means trauma leading asphyxia trauma leading asphyxia means what happens because of trauma your chest is fixed because of trauma your chest is fixed this is also known as perthe syndrome sir what are the example of traumatic asphyxia building collapse it suddenly building collapses and the building material comes over the chest this is your chest is fixed you are not able to respirate this is known as perthe syndrome and doctor sir in this traumatic asphyxia there is masque masque acchymosis line masque acchymotic line actually like what this line is this line is a demarcation between compressed area and non compressed area because some area will be compressed if this chest is compressed and there will be line between compressed and but you just remember this is masque ecchymotic line this is a demarcation line between compressed and non compressed but this you just remember masque line traumatic asphyxia chest is fixed now sir number 6 number 6 that is burking what is burking it is combination of 4 plus 5 combination of smothering plus traumatic asphyxia this is homicidal smothering what is burking see what is burking it is like see if i want to kill a small child 5 to 6 year old child what i will do i'll sit on his chest and then i'll smoke sitting on the chest will cause traumatic asphyxia plus homicidal smothering is burking chalo aapke sath mein kuch question rakhta hu uske baad hum break lete hain uske baad decide karenge cloth piece goes cloth piece goes in oropharynx what is the name of suffocation cloth piece goes in oropharynx what's the name of suffocation gagging a heavy building material coming over the chest or any which causing chest fixation what is the name of this asphyxia traumatic asphyxia what is another name of traumatic asphyxia what is another name of traumatic asphyxia perthe syndrome What is the name of demarcation line between compressed and non-compressed area? Compressed and non-compressed area in traumatic asphyxia. If you are killing a person with smothering plus traumatic asphyxia, that means you are killing by which method? That means you are killing by which method? Burking. Burking. Yes, friends, it is burking. You can see some pictures if if you want to see. This is a very important one. some pictures yes 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 
if any pictures here from this uh, smothering yes one picture is of smothering yes this is smothering yes both nasal and oral places both are blocked this is smothering this is smothering chale so we have discussed six type of suffocations the first we discussed agar mahol mein oxygen ki kami ho the second we discussed choking then gagging uh, then mm, mm, smothering then traumatic asphyxia then burking burking ओ प्रभाकरण क्या बात रे गर्लफ्रेंड नाराज हो गई क्या चलो नेक्स्ट इज ओवरलिंग नेक्स्ट सफोकेशन सेवेंथ नंबर आई म्यूट करो रे बाजिया what is overlaying if your chest is compressed by heavy weight like a mother is sleeping beside her child her mother comes over the child chest this phenomena is known as overlaying mother is coming over child this phenomena is known as overlaying chest compressed see in traumatic asphyxia chest is fixed in overlaying chest is compressed so that is the difference now eighth sir eighth is cafe coronary eighth is cafe coronary sir cafe coronary word was given by robert hausen cafe coronary word was given by robert hausen what happens sir you are intoxicated you are under the influence of some alcohol or anything so if you are intoxicated and your food particle goes in larynx pharynx your food particle goes in larynx pharynx and oxal suddenly you collapses suddenly you collapses look sir you will see the air passes and air passes and other passes are blocked blocked this phenomena is known as cafe corona sir what happens the laryngeal mucosa and pharyngeal mucosa this is blocked by food in intoxicated person in intoxicated person this will lead reflex vagal inhibition this is the cause of death reflex vagal inhibition that is leading cardiac arrest this phenomena is known as cafe coronary again i am telling you sir cafe coronary word was given by robert hausen cafe coronary word was given by robert hausen sir but this cafe coronary is a type of choking when you are intoxicated eating some food particle this food particle act as a bolus goes in larynx or pharynx goes in larynx and pharynx this causes sudden collapse and doctor what is the mechanism of this sudden collapse reflex vagal inhibition leading cardiac arrest reflex vagal inhibition leading cardiac arrest second cause of death may be laryngeal spasm this phenomena is known as cafe coronary so but first cause of death is cardiac arrest first cause of death is cardiac arrest this is cafe coronary cafe coronary second cause of death is laryngeal spasm now i am coming to such see environmental lack choking gagging smothering 
traumatic asphyxia traumatic asphyxia working overlaying intoxicated person cafe corona cafe corona robert hausen has given the word now sir next asphyxial death this next asphyxial death is drowning what is drowning drowning means your body is in water or liquid your body is in water or liquid this method is known as drowning this method is known as drowning fatal period for drowning is 5 to 8 minutes 5 to 8 minutes mostly drowning are accidental most of the time of drowning is accidental accidental drowning are most common suicidal and homicidal is less common why it's not a good method of committing suicide first reason sir fatal period is 5 to 8 minutes second it's a painful death so it is not a good method of committing suicide body goes in water or liquid it is a drowning body goes in water and liquid it is a drowning yes fatal period of drowning is 5 to 8 minutes it is a painful death it is a painful death painful death now sir what are the types of drowning first wet drowning sir wet drowning is also known as typical drowning wet drowning is also known as typical drowning typical drowning this is the most common drowning this is the most common drowning what is wet drowning wet means water goes in lungs and person dies due to cardiac arrest water goes in lung and person dies due to cardiac arrest this is a wet drowning hindi mein bolte hain gilli drowning what is the meaning of wet wet water goes in lung this is a wet drowning water goes in lung this is a wet drowning sir wet drowning is of two type one is fresh water drowning and second is sea water drowning fresh water and sea water now sir when fresh water goes in your lung this is pulmonary capillaries when fresh water goes in pulmonary capillaries when fresh water goes in pulmonary capillaries this leads hemodilution this leads hemodilution to neutralize this to neutralize this rbc liberate potassium ion rbc liberate potassium ion that will lead hyperkalemia and hyperkalemia causes ventricular fibrillation but sir what happens in sea water sea water goes sea water already contain sodium so sea water goes inside the blood capillary it causes hemo concentration hemo concentration it's here sodium increases hypernatremia and hypernatremia causes bradycardia hypernatremia causes see again i am revising my dear friend fresh water again i am revising my dear friend fresh water goes in pulmonary capillaries it is hemodilution rbc liberates potassium it is hyperkalemia hyperkalemia causes ventricular fibrillation sea water already contain sodium it is hemo concentration sodium hypernatremia and it causes bradycardia now which is the faster cause of death sir ventricular fibrillation is faster cause of death it means sir in 
wet drowning fresh water drowning person dies earlier and observe in both drowning fresh water in both drowning which are fresh water and sea water there is loss of pulmonary surfactant loss of pulmonary surfactant we have loss of pulmonary surfactant this is wet drowning typical drowning or primary drowning or primary drowning now write down sir a typical drowning a typical drowning in a typical first is dry drowning what is the meaning of dry drowning sir water doesn't enter in lung in wet drowning water enters in lung in dry drowning water doesn't enter in lung and person dies cause of death is laryngeal spasm larynx will constrict my dear friend this is the cause of death laryngeal spasm this is the cause of death laryngeal spasm water doesn't enter in lung person dies due to laryngeal spasm laryngeal spasm now second atypical drowning is sir remember delayed drowning which is also known as near drowning which is also known as secondary drowning and which is also known as post immersion syndrome post immersion syndrome sir what happens what happens as the name suggest it is delayed drowning delayed means person died due to delayed complication wet drowning water goes in lung dry drowning person died due to laryngeal spasm delayed drowning person died due to delayed complication what is the delayed complication like pneumonia metabolic acidosis or encephalopathy sir these are complication which is seen after 1 to 2 days of drowning it means sir here person not die immediately person die after 1 to 2 days this is delayed drowning near drowning secondary drowning post means after immersion there is a syndrome post immersion syndrome so i have told you three type of drowning wet drowning dry drowning and delayed complication drowning now third atypical drowning is hydrocution sir hydrocution i told you electrocution is electric shock what is hydrocution water cold water drowning cold water drowning where cold water enters sir in your ear in your nose in your ear in your nose and strike the epigastrium sir it causes vagal inhibition and it causes cardiac arrest so sir here cold water going in your ear nose and epigastrium this is known as hydrocution hydrocution here it is also known as immersion syndrome and submersion syndrome immersion syndrome and submersion syndrome now sir i will ask some question to you write down in chat box which is the most common drowning which is the most common drowning anyone which is the most common drowning wet drowning is the most common drowning 
in which drowning person dies due to laryngeal spasm in which drowning person dies due to laryngeal spasm dry drowning what is the cause of death in cold water drowning what is the cause of death in cold water drowning cold water drowning vagal inhibition leading cardiac arrest hemodilution and hyperkalemia is a feature of fresh water drowning or sea water drowning fresh water drowning or sea water drowning fresh water drowning which is a faster death fresh water or sea water immersion syndrome and submersion syndrome are other name of which drowning immersion syndrome and submersion syndrome are other name of which drowning hydro question absolutely right my dear friends now sir come to post mortem finding sir when we are starting post mortem finding means after death what are the change first we should know what is anti mortem drowning sir what is anti mortem drowning anti mortem and what is post mortem drowning post mortem drowning means after death if body is put inside water after death body is put inside water and anti mortem drowning means death inside water death inside water now sir what are the finding which suggest that person died inside the water in dead body these are the finding of anti mortem drowning death inside water now sir first finding cadaveric spasm what is cadaveric spasm a person struggles in water person struggles in water and hand remain clenched clenched hand with some grass particle with some grass particle sir this suggest that person struggled in water cadaveric sorry cadaveric cadaveric spasm cadaveric ni cadaveric cadaveric is a dead body cadaveric spasm that suggest you struggle in water and you have clenched hand with grass particle this phenomena is known as cadaveric spasm that suggest you died this is the most characteristic finding of most characteristic finding of anti mortem drowning first phenomena cadaveric spasm cadaveric spasm second second water present in gi tract water present in gi tract stomach and intestine that is also suggestive of anti mortem drowning anti mortem drowning third water in lungs sir what happens when water goes in lungs lungs are heavy this is known as emphysema aquosum sir everyone knows emphysema is a word used for lung and aquosum is water aquosum but sir here lungs has prothy water lungs has prothy water this condition is known as emphysema aquosum water in lung there is a sub pleural hemorrhage that suggest that you have water in lung sub pleural hemorrhage it is known as Pultov hemorrhage. This also suggests 
water in lung sub pleural hemorrhage is known as pult of hemorrhage water goes in the lung with your respiration and also when water goes in your lung there is mucoid frothing comes from your nose and mouth mucoid frothing comes from your nose and mouth this also suggest anti mortem drown this also suggest anti mortem drown anti mortem drown so again i am revising my dear friend lungs are heavy with water it is emphysema aquosum sub pleural hemorrhage is pult of hemorrhage mucoid frothing from nose and mouth it is also suggestive of anti mortem drowning what is anti mortem drowning person was alive in water and then person died inside the water so water in gi tract water in lung and cadaveric spasm most characteristic finding is cadaveric spasm now fourth finding jettler test jettler test is chloride ion in heart chamber chloride ion in heart chamber this is also important finding of anti mortem drowning jettler test diatom test chloride ion in heart chamber this is also a very important finding jettler test diatoms are unicellular algae diatoms are unicellular algae covered by silica and sir along with the water along with the water along with the water diatom goes in your lungs then it goes to different organs then it goes to different organs sir best organ for detection of diatom is bone and in bone best bone is femur then second is sternum that's a very simple sir in water we have algae these are known as diatom diatom goes in your lung from lung it goes to the systemic circulation best organ is bone and in bone best organ is femur in bone best organ is femur second is sternum and of sub for diatom we do acid digestion test for diatom we do acid digestion test but sir in acid bone is digested but diatom not that is known as acid digestion test acid digestion test this is also a very important finding of anti mortem drowning anti mortem drowning number 6 swash nico sign how to remember sir as for swash nico as for sinus contain water your sinus contain water this sign is known as swash nico sign nasal sinus contain water para nasal or nasal sinus next is sebinsky sign sebinsky sign now what is the trick to remember as for sebinsky as for small spleen spleen size is small has become after drowning this is known as sebinsky sign sebinsky sign eighth is sehert sign sehert sign as for sehert as for stomach mucosa rupture so doctor sir many trick bahut easy banayi hai as for swash nikov sign is water present in sinus sebinsky sign spleen become small sehert sign stomach mucosa rupture s s s s these all are the finding of anti mortem drowning what is anti mortem drowning person died inside the water is anti mortem drowning again i am telling you sir what are the finding of anti mortem drowning 
when you are inside the water you will struggle there will be grass in the clench and this is cadaveric spasm most characteristic water in gi tract water in lung producing mucoid frothing from this area mucoid frothing from this area yes then simple pelt of hemorrhage in subpleural lesion and lungs are heavy jetler test or chloride ion detection test chloride ion detection test is a jetler test okay diatoms are unicellular algae present diatoms are unicellular algae yes unicellular algae these are along with the water it goes in lung from lung it goes to the organs these are known as diatom test and acid digestion test is detect for diatom it is a method by which you detect the diatom as for swesh ye tino pg ke question hai swesh nikov sign water in sinus sebinsky sign small spleen sehat sign stomach mucosa rupture these are also seen in anti mortem round but sir now we are coming to the finding which is seen in anti mortem drowning plus post mortem drowning anti mortem drowning plus post mortem drowning first is flotation anti mortem means you died inside the water post mortem means you died outside but body has been put inside after that now sir this is water your body is inside the water after some time there is gas formation gas formation in the body because of decomposition and body will start floating body will start floating now doctor saab this flotation time in summer is 24 hours and in winter sir it is 1 to 2 days and in winter it is 1 to 2 days why in winter it is more because sir in winter decomposition is slow in winter decomposition is slow that's why flotation time is more in winter but sir flotation time flotation of the body is seen in old drowning anti mortem and post mortem drowning doesn't matter now another finding which is seen in anti mortem and post mortem drowning is washer woman hand it is washer woman hand sir what is washer woman hand it is skin change of palm and soul it is skin change of palm and soul doctor sir doesn't matter you died inside the water outside the water but your body is in water your body is in water so what will be the changes this is known as washer woman hand washer woman hand sir there wing will be wrinkling there will be wrinkling yes can you see the slide there will be wrinkling okay there will be thickening of the skin and degloving degloving means the skin will be peeled off sir so these changes are known as washer woman hand these are seen in anti mortem as well as post mortem drown these are known as and skin and palm and soul skin becomes wrinkled thickened degloving of the skin skin is peeled off this is known as washer woman hand this is known as washer woman hand this is seen in anti mortem as well as post mortem drown anti mortem and post mortem drown washer woman hand chalo sir kuch sawal puchta hu write down okay first question diatoms are what unicellular 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 
The items are what? Unicellular algae. Okay, very good. Algae. What is the covering of diatom? Diatom kisse cover hote hain? Silica. Diatoms are covered by silica. Which is the best site to detect diatom in your body after drowning? Best site. Best organ. Bones. Which is the best bone? Which is the best bone? Femur. Femur. In Jettler test, what we detect, where we detect? What we detect, where we detect? In Jettler test. Chloride ion in heart chamber. Which finding is present in antemortem as well as postmortem drowning? Which finding is present in antemortem as well as postmortem drowning? Which hand? Washer woman hand. Washer woman hand is present in antemortem as well as postmortem drowning. Doctor, what is the name of hemorrhage because of water entry in lung? What is the name of hemorrhage because of water entry in lung? Yes. Subplural hemorrhage known as subplural hemorrhage known as Paltov hemorrhage. Paltov hemorrhage. Now drowning, we have frothing from nose and mouth. This frothing is mucoid or non-mucoid frothing? Mucoid and <coughs> non-mucoid. It is mucoid. What is the most characteristic finding of anti-mortem drowning? What is the most characteristic finding of anti-mortem drowning which decide the person died inside the water? Anti-mortem drowning. Cadaveric spasm. Cadaveric spasm. Small spleen in drowning, what is the name of sign? Small spleen in drowning, what is the name of sign? Yes, it is Sabinsky sign. Stomach mucosa rupture, what is the name of sign? As stomach, as for Sehat sign. Paranasal sinus contain water, what is the name of sign? Paranasal sinus contain water, what is the name of sign? Swash Nico sign. Very good, my dear friend. Very, very good. So these are some very, very important MCQ which are generally been asked in exam regarding drowning. Now, sir, I am coming to those asphyxial death method where neck get compressed. Neck compression method where. We are coming to those asphyxial method where neck get compressed. Neck get. Drowning is not a purest sign of asphyxia. Drowning, actually in drowning, death is due to many reasons. Not only asphyxia, sir, there may be other causes also. There may be cardiac arrest, there may be laryngeal spasm, there may be vagal inhibition. That's why I told you it's not the purest form of asphyxia. May be other causes. Cardiac arrest is very common, very common. Now I am coming to neck compression. Now, sir, see, neck compression as fictional death are two type. One is hanging, another is strangulation. One is hanging. Another strangulation. In both cases, neck is compressed. Sir, what is first? We'll discuss hanging. Hanging is neck compression 
प्लस बॉडी सस्पेंशन नेक कंप्रेशन प्लस बॉडी सस्पेंशन इट मीन सर इफ योर नेक इज कंप्रेस्ड विद योर बॉडी सस्पेंशन दिस फिनोमिना इज नॉन एज हैंगिंग दिस फिनोमिना इज नॉन एज हैंगिंग लाइक सी वॉट यू डू you apply this surrounding the neck then you hang your body body suspension this is known as hanging sir mostly hanging are suicidal mostly hanging are suicidal sir this was washer woman hand i have shown you this picture and sir this image which i didn't show you this is this is this is cadaveric spasm i told you most characteristic finding of anti mortem drown okay anyways so now i am coming to hanging hanging is suspension hanging is body suspension plus neck compression and also mostly hanging is suicide hanging is mostly suicide suicide means you commit suicide you are putting dupatta or like sushant singh rajput committed suicide mostly <coughs> hanging are suicidal but sometime it may be accidental judicial which is in practice in india and very rare homicidal very rare homicidal you commit suicide suicidal you die accidentally that is accidental government kills you that is judicial yes and some other person hang you that is homicide but sir most common is suicide why it is most common sir here fatal period what was the fatal period in drowning anyone what was the fatal period in drowning what was the fatal period in drowning anyone 5 to 8 minutes okay 5 to 8 minutes sir in suicidal hanging fatal period is 3 to 5 minutes very less and doctor it is almost painless method it is almost painless method no pain so it is suicidal is very common because it's painless method most common method of suicide in india most common method of suicide in india is hanging suicide means suicidal death person die most common method of suicide in india <coughs> it is hanging now sir i will put few term this is suicide that is suicidal death most common method now second question most common method of para suicide now sir this question comes what is para suicide para suicide is attempted suicide para suicide is attempted suicide attempted means you survived you attempted but you you have not died you survived that's the most common method of para suicide is drug or poison <clears throat> is drug or poison drug or poison so this, this is first suicide this is para suicide now come to complex suicide what is the meaning of complex suicide more than one suicide method you use more than one method not equal more than one method more than one method of suicide you use to ensure the death to ensure the death this is complex suicide this is complex suicide this is complex suicide and what is complicated suicide sir you attempt one method you attempt one method but you die due to unintentional you die due to 
unintentional trauma this is complicated suicide now i will ask you a few question sir first question you attempted hanging method you attempted hanging method and you die from fall from height what is the name of this suicide complicated absolutely right it is complicated you attempted two method for committing suicide one is wrist cutting second is poison what is the name of this suicide yes it is complex suicide you attempted suicide method but you survived what is the name of this method you attempted suicide but you survived what is the name of this method para suicide yes you got the concept i think you got the concept but sir in india most common method of suicide is hanging most common method of suicide is hanging now sir i am coming to types of hanging one is complete hanging complete hanging sir whole body suspended whole body suspended it is complete hanging second is incomplete hanging incomplete hanging is also known as partial hanging partial hanging some part of the body some part of the body touching the ground some part of the body touching the ground this is partial hanging or incomplete hanging now sir third hanging is typical hanging if not is present at occiput not is present at occiput this is a typical hanging not is this not this one this present at occiput this is a typical hanging not at any other place not at any other place this is a a typical hanging not at any other place it is a a typical hanging i will show you the picture because pictures are also important see not is at occiput this is a typical hanging and sir not this is the not this is the not these are example of a typical hanging these are the example of a typical not at occiput this one this is a typical hanging not at any other place this would be a typical hanging a typical hanging not such c this is if part of the body touching the ground this is partial hanging and partial is also known as incomplete hanging so we have classified hanging in this category we have classified hanging in this category complete incomplete typical atypical complete incomplete typical and atypical typical not at occiput atypical not at any other place not at any other place now sir most common cause of death in hanging is asphyxia plus venous congestion asphyxia plus venous congestion that is most common cause of death. please mute your mic asphyxia plus venous congestion now sir come to post mortem changes what are the finding which you have to see sir i have already told you in hanging first cavity has to be open it should be cranium and last cavity it should be open in all asphyxial death doesn't matter it's hanging it's neck 
neck now sir hanging most of the time cause of death is asphyxia so cpc cpc is cyanosis petechi and congestion cpc is cyanosis petechi and congestion this can be present this can be absent cpc is cyanosis petechi and congestion tardive spot i already told you those asphyxial death where neck is compressed tardive spot can be present as i told you conjunctiva is the most common sign protrusion of tongue sir it can be present sir what is why protrusion of tongue see if you are using this this goes up up and creates pressure on mandible <clears throat> this creates protrusion of tongue that can be present protrusion of tongue hyoid bone fracture only in 10% cases not more than this hyoid bone fracture in only 10 and also see the pressure is generally anterior to posterior this one it is anterior posterior fracture it is c anterior posterior fracture or it is abduction fracture anterior posterior fracture or you can see pressure will be from anterior posterior fracture or abduction fracture abduction fracture now sir most specific finding of hanging we have to see ligature mark ligature mark on neck see this is your neck this is your neck whatever you are using dupatta or whatever it is generally ligature mark is v shape like this v shape sir it goes up so this mark is above thyroid above thyroid generally this mark is incomplete why it is incomplete sir because at the place of not at the place of not it is absent at the place of not it is absent and this ligature mark is pressure abrasion this ligature mark is pressure abrasion so what you will do this will be v shape above thyroid it is a pressure abrasion so what you will do my dear friend you will dissect this ligature mark after dissection because it is abrasion it's a sliding pressure abrasion you will find pale and glistening area after dissection of this ligature mark because this injury is abrasion you will find pale and glistening area pale and glistening area why because it's abrasion this is a finding in ligature mark finding in ligature mark another important finding that is ligature mark so generally it is a v shape so doctor we have seen you can find sign of asphyxia cpc you can find protrusion of tongue you can find hyoid bone fracture as abduction fracture in few cases you can find ligature mark but sir till now we have not seen any finding which is significant for anti mortem hanging these finding are present in anti mortem and post mortem also so we are coming to a very important word anti mortem hanging what is the meaning of anti mortem hanging that person died due to hanging person died due to hanging now sir see so this is a person this is the neck this is not so see on the both side if we have two submandibular gland this one one gland this is second gland submandibular gland sir so what will happen see if i have not here here maximum pressure will be on opposite side of not this will compress this submandibular gland saliva will dribble so 
on the opposite side of knot there is dribbling of saliva dribbling of saliva why on opposite side of knot sir because maximum pressure will be on opposite side of knot and doc sir this is the most characteristic finding of anti mortem hanger sir it suggest it suggest that person died due to hanging because after death if you are hanging the body saliva is never dribbled so dribbling of saliva <coughs> dribbling of saliva is most characteristic finding of anti mortem hanging dribbling of saliva <coughs> is the most characteristic finding of anti mortem hanging now sir on the same side of knot on the same side of knot i is open pupil is dilated on the same side of knot i is open and pupil is dilated this is a different finding this is known as la facie sympathetic on the same side of knot i is open and pupil is no doc sir no doc wiki it is not dribbling of saliva is not present in all anti mortem hanging first of all first of all it is not seen in all anti mortem hanging it is seen in few anti mortem hanging but if it is present it is the most characteristic find because saliva like if you are not at posterior part okay saliva will dribble on the ground ha ah, if you are not here on lateral part maximum pressure will be on the opposite side you can have dribbling so it is not seen in all finding but if it is present it is the most characteristic find now on the same side of knot that's a very important point on the same side of knot i remain open and pupil is dilated this is the knot this i will remain open opposite side will be closed and pupil is dilated this finding is known as la facie sympathetic it is because of sympathetic chain stimulation it is known as la facie sympathetic la facie sympathetic another important find la facie sympathetic anyway sir we have seen some very very important finding of hanging hang okay in hanging we can have simon hemorrhage simon hemorrhage is hemorrhage in intervertebral disc of lumbar region hemorrhage in intervertebral disc of lumbar region simon hemorrhage is hemorrhage in intervertebral disc of lumbar region this is known as simon hemorrhage anyway sir now doctor i am putting some question to you you have you have to give answer first dribbling of saliva is due to compression of which gland which gland dribbling of saliva is due to compression of which gland first question which gland yes it is submandibular which is the most specific finding of hanging most specific finding of hanging hanging i have not used word anti mortem hanging i have used just word hanging most specific find of hanging by which you can say it's a hanging ligature mark which is the most characteristic finding of anti mortem hanging listen carefully anti mortem hanging anti mortem hanging yes dribbling of saliva dribbling of saliva in hanging hyoid bone fracture is abduction or adduction abduction or adduction hyoid bone fracture is abduction or adduction abduction Absolutely right, my dear friend. I love you all, boy. Sir, you all are here. Now, sir, the question comes up. This, this, we have Simon hemorrhage is intervertebral disc hemorrhage of lumbar vertebra. Okay. Now, sir, we have discussed suicidal hanging. Second hanging is homicidal. Sir, as I told you, homicidal hanging is rare. It is not common. Why is rare, sir? First of all, if we want to hang someone, we need some people. six or seven people to hang that's why it is rare sir one method is known as lynching lynching method is generally practiced in north america 
North America. Here, white person used to hang. White person used to hang black person on tree. This method is known as lynching. This method is known as lynching. So lynching is not very common. Yes, lynching is not very common. White person used to hang black person on tree. This method is known as lynching. So homicidal hanging is there. Now, sir, third hanging is sexual asphyxia. Now, sir, what is sexual asphyxia? Sir, see, you are using sexual perversion. You are using some sexual perversion like masochism. Masochism is self-suffering or transvestism. These two people, they apply some ligature material on the neck and they want perversion. But unfortunately, they get asphyxia. They are involved in the sexual perversion matter, masochism and transvestism. They apply some ligature material and they hang their body, but they want some hypoxia, but they get sexual asphyxia. Sir, sexual asphyxia is also known as autoerotic asphyxia. And in few countries, it is known as codes worrisome. In few countries, it is known as codes worrisome. Now tell me anyone, this death will be because a person is not going for suicide. Person wants sexual pleasure. He's applying some ligation material for sexual pleasure only. But unfortunately, he get asphyxia. Now tell me, this hanging is suicidal, homicidal or accidental? This hanging is suicidal, homicidal or accidental? Anyone? Yes, yes. Absolutely, because the person doesn't want to die, person wants sexual pleasure. So, Dr. Sab, sexual asphyxial death is a accidental hanging. It is known as codesvarism. It is known as autoerotic asphyxia. Codesvarism or autoerotic asphyxia. Now I am coming to, sir, the last but not the least judicial hanging. Sir, Indian government used this method for killing criminals, for execution, for killing criminals. Recently, we have seen four accused of Dirbaya case died by this method, judicial hanging. Sir, this hanging is complete hanging, first of all. This hanging is atypical hanging, second. And here we have sudden drop. Here we have sudden drop. Suddenly person drops. Actually, sir, what is this method? See. This is a person. He is standing on a platform. This platform shifted. Doctor, this is judicial hang. So this person suspended when platform shifted. This is a complete hanging, atypical hanging. Sir, why it is used as a word atypical hanging? Atypical hanging. Sir, because not in judicial hanging is present on the left angle of mandible, just below ear, suboral. This one, this area. Left angle of mandible or lateral part of the neck. Here it is fixed here. Left side. This is known as hangman knot. This is known as hangman knot. Left angle of mandible. It is fixed here. This is known as hangman knot. This one. So what happens? This create pressure. Ah. Then there is a C2, C3 vertebra fracture, brain stem damage. C2, C3 vertebra fracture, 
ब्रेन स्टेम डैमेज एंड डॉक्टर साहब स्पेसिफिकली इस सी टू वर्टिब्रा फ्रैक्चर दिस इज नॉन एज हैंगमैन फ्रैक्चर स्पेसिफिकली दिस सी टू वर्टिब्रा फ्रैक्चर इज नॉन एज हैंगमैन फ्रैक्चर हैंगमैन फ्रैक्चर डॉक्टर साहब बिकॉज ऑफ सडन ड्रॉप कैरोटिड टीयर कैरोटिड आर थ्री टीयर इज वेरी कॉमन दिस इज नॉन एज एम्यूसेट साइन दिस इज नॉन एज एम्यूसेट साइन कैरोटिड आर थ्री टीयर इज वेरी कॉमन this is known as amusex sign again i am revising my dear friend see not present at left angle of mandible it is sub oral lesion that create pressure c2 and c3 vertebra fracture c2 vertebra fracture is also known as hangman fracture carotid artery tear this sign is amusex sign this sign is amusex sign see this is a complete hanging atypical hanging but of course sometime a question comes i am putting two question and first question hangman fracture is fracture of which vertebra hangman fracture is fracture of which vertebra which vertebra hangman fracture no c2 c3 is right answer but specifically c2 specifically c2 okay hangman not present on which side right or left right or left left anterior part or lateral part anterior part or lateral part lateral that is left lateral just below angle of mandible sub oral sir in india we are putting not here but in other country you will get the answer hangman not you will get the answer other country other countries not is placed below chin not in india not is placed below chin in india we are putting here in that part but in other country not is placed below chin here that's a different anyway sir this is all about hanging now i am coming to sir very very important topic that is strangulation that is strangulation strangulation sir what is strangulation how do we differentiate it from hanging sir it is only neck compression no suspension of the body it is only neck compression no suspension of the body no suspension of the body only neck compression this is strangulation okay only neck compression no suspension of the body so mostly strangulation are homicidal generally if you are compressing the neck there is no suspension it means it means you are killing homicidal may be accidental may be judicial may be accidental may be judicial but suicidal is very rare suicide is very rare you cannot commit like you cannot commit suicide by this method like by this method you, you cannot commit suicide it is mostly homicidal or may be accidental now what are homicidal strangulation number 1 number 1 ligature strangulation wherever i write down st that will be strangulation by ligature you are compressing the neck second manual strangulation manual means this this is manual manual strangulation this method is known as throttling manual strangulation this method is known as throttling manual elbow strangulation this is known as mugging and strangulation by using stick 
This is known as benzodiazepine strangulation using stick. This is, means this is ligature. You are killing someone by this method. This is ligature. This is manual. This, one. this is mugging. Ah, this one. Mugging. And between stick, this is benzodiazepine. Now, doctor, you see. This ligature strangulation can be accidental. Yes, sometimes this ligature strangulation can be accidental. Female sometimes not killed by someone, but female going somewhere and getting strangled by dupatta or chunni. That is that may be accidental. Even sir, mugging can also be accidental. Like I am a mother, I am holding my child, and suddenly child neck comes in this elbow. This can also be accidental. even between stick this one this can also be accidental but sir throttling is never accidental it is always homicidal throttling is never accidental doctor sir if you are holding the neck till death it means you want to kill that if you are holding the neck till that that means you want to kill that okay so throttling is never this is always homicidal throttling is always now i will show you the picture of you know you can get this picture see this is mugging this one. this is mugging this is in elbow you are killing this method is mugging. this is this is throttling this uh, this is mugging throttling and mugging throttling and mugging now sir so these are the example of homicidal strangulation now i am coming to judicial strangulation judicial strangulation sir in india we have judicial hanging but there are certain country we have judicial strangulation these country are spain and turkey spain and turkey sir this method is known as spanish windlass method and here this method is also known as garroting this method is also known as garroting this method is also now you can see this picture see this is not a hanging this is judicial strangulation my dear judicial strangulation the person is sitting this is a metallic collar they compress the neck this is judicial strangulation this is a metallic collar this one this is known as because this is common in spain and turkey that's why it is known as spanish windlass method and doctor this is judicial this is also homicidal ha huh? it is every judicial method is a homicidal also because you are killing a person but why do we use word judicial first because it is mainly judicial criminals are killed by this method criminals are killed by this method this is judicial strangulation doctor sir this is judicial strangulation method that is garroting this is judicial strangulation method this is known as garroting garroting now sir anyways we have discussed what are homicidal suicidal all methods now come to the post mortem changes come to the post mortem changes sir same thing cpc may be present may be absent if the person died due to asphyxia there is cpc if not asphyxial sign cpc may be absent tardive spot generally present because it is if neck compression is there tardive spot generally present tardive spot generally present sir very important when you kill someone there are chances of resistance injuries when you kill someone there are chances of resistance injury may be present plus minus if the person is conscious he will resist thyroid fracture may be present thyroid fracture may be present thyroid fracture may be present it is more common actually sir thyroid fracture may also be present in hanging 
but thyroid fracture is more common than hanging in strangulation. Hanging is rare. Hanging is rare. It is rare. Thyroid fracture. Now come to a very specific finding, my dear friend, that is ligature mark, because by which we differentiate, by which we differentiate. See, this is your neck. This is your neck. Ligature mark is generally transverse. Ligature mark is generally transverse, complete. Ligature mark is transverse, complete, or at the level of thyroid or below. At the level of thyroid or below this. In hanging, it was above. And oxal. Actually, this is compression of neck by you, so that will produce injury, sir. There may be peri ligature, surrounding ligature. There may be peri ligature injuries or hemorrhage. Peri ligature injuries or hemorrhage. Peri ligature. And injuries or hemorrhage. And Oksal, again I am telling you, sir, you are compressing the neck. That's why CPC sign is more prominent. Because you are compressing the neck. Extra pressure is created. Cyanosis, petechiae, and congestion are more prominent. Asphyxial sign are more prominent. More prominent. Yes. Now, Dr. Sal, when you dissect this ligature mark, this question comes in exam. Because this is an injury, my dear friend. When you dissect ligature mark, there will be hematomas of muscles, bruise of the muscles in neck. When you dissect the ligature mark, muscles of the neck, bruise of the neck muscles, hematoma of the neck muscle, you will find muscle hematoma, you will find other hematoma, you will find bruise. These are commonly seen. Dr. Saab, again I am telling you, generally this is transverse, complete, periligature injuries. After dissection, you will find hematoma, bruise of the muscles, hematoma of the tissue, bruise of the tissue, you will find this is a very important, significant finding, my dear friend. Ligature mark. Ligature mark. Very important, significant finding in strangulation. That is ligature mark. Ligature mark. Here, hyoid bone fracture is not common. In this strangulation, hyoid bone fracture is not common. Here, thyroid bone fracture is more common than hanging. And of sub. Thyroid bone fracture is commonly in superior horn. Superior horn. This is common. Fracture of thyroid bone fracture is superior. So, how do we differentiate, sir? There will be transverse ligature mark, periligature injury, complete mark. Chances are there, complete mark. After dissection, you will find hematoma or bruise in muscles tissue beneath the ligature mark. This is very, very important finding, my dear friend. Very. And CPC. Why CPC is more prominent, sir? You are compressing the neck. So you are resisting. You will apply more pressure. Chances of cyanosis, petechiae, and congestion are more prominent. Are more prominent. Now I am coming to throttling. See. Sir, throttling is compression of neck by hand. It is always homicidal. It is always homicidal. There is no chance of accidental throttling. Now, sir, T. How to remember? Here we have thyroid fracture. Okay, good. And here we also have, sir, hyoid bone fracture. That is a very important part. Hyoid bone fracture is not very common in ligature strangulation, but in throttling it's common. Hyoid bone fracture is in 50% cases. And Oksad, this is inward compression fracture. This is 
इनवर्ड कंप्रेशन फ्रैक्चर और एडक्शन फ्रैक्चर इनवर्ड कंप्रेशन फ्रैक्चर और एडक्शन फ्रैक्चर सी दैट विल कॉज दिस यू कैन सी दिस इट इज इनवर्ड कंप्रेशन दिस इज एडक्शन एडक्शन का मतलब पास में आना एडक्शन इन हैंगिंग इट वॉज एबडक्शन एबडक्शन इट इज एडक्शन सर मल्टीपल ब्रूज ऑन द नेक which are six penny bruise coin shape bruise can be present after dissection of bruise you will find hematoma yes bruise has hematoma hematoma and nail abrasion if a person compressing the neck has big nail nail abrasion which are semi lunar abrasion which are semi lunar abrasion or crescentric abrasion i will show you the picture of all three semi lunar or crescentric abrasion doctor sir sometime what type of question you get listen what type of question you get like i am i am giving first picture to you see First picture to you. This one. If you get this kind of picture, sir, see. If you get this kind of picture, where multiple bruises on the neck, neck, this one. Multiple bruises on the neck. Yes, this picture. You can see this bruise, this bruise, this bruise, this bruise. Multiple bruises. There is no fixed ligature mark. multiple bruise these are six penny bruise when you dissect you can find hematoma multiple bruise and even sir sometime neck dissection picture is given here and in neck dissection you will have hematoma that suggest this is throat loss and maybe nail abrasion maybe nail abrasion which are semi lunar or crescent maybe nail abrasion which are semi lunar or crescent now i will show you one picture how to see how to differentiate it from strangulation ligature mark you can see i will show you the picture of strangulation ligature mark See, this is a very important picture. You can see. Now, how would you see this one? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. This is a very important picture. You can get this snapshot of this picture. Yes, you can see. You can see, sir. This is this is a very simple mark, which is almost transverse, transverse ligature mark, transverse. It is not V-shaped. It is transverse ligature mark. You can see some injury peri ligature. You can see some peri ligature injury. You can see this injury, this injury. These are peri ligature injury. This is ligature strangulation. This is ligature strangulation. Okay, just get this picture. Now in hanging, in hanging, how what picture you get? Hanging ligature mark. Okay. now sir see in hanging ligature mark you generally see v shape picture like this v shape picture v shape picture and if it is v shape picture that suggest that suggest 
this one you can see this is v shape picture this suggests this is hanging ligature mark you can see this one going upwards going upwards towards neck towards ear this is hanging picture hanging ligature okay but sir main thing to differentiate because sometimes v shape o shape mark can be seen in both to differentiate you have to dissect to differentiate you have to dissect if after dissection you have hematoma after dissection you have hematoma that is strangulation that is strangulation after dissection it is a pale and glistening area that is hanging so strangulation will show hematoma strangulation will show hematoma hematoma so that is a very very important finding be careful you will find hematoma you will find hematoma after strangulation after throating because these are the common finding which are seen as hematoma of neck structure hematoma of neck structure anyway sir that is a very simple way to differentiate very very simple way to differentiate now i am putting some question write down this is okay write down some rapid revision problem hangman fracture is a fracture of which vertebra hangman fracture is a fracture of which vertebra write down c2 amusset sign is more commonly seen in which hanging amusset sign carotid artery tear is most more commonly seen in which hanging amusset sign more commonly seen in which hanging amusset sign judicial hanging yes elaraba you are absolutely right it is judicial hanging amusset sign is more commonly seen in judicial hanging very good okay very good very good it is more commonly seen in judicial hanging okay lumbar intervertebral disc hemorrhage in hanging is known as which hemorrhage lumbar intervertebral disc hemorrhage in hanging is known as simon hemorrhage very good dribbling of saliva is seen on same side of the knot or opposite side of the knot same side of the knot or opposite side of the knot opposite side of the knot in la facie sympathetic a same side of eye is opened or pupil is dilated or opposite side la facie sympathetic a yes afshan it is same side eye is opened and pupil is dilated absolutely right which is the most common suicide method in india hanging hanging is the right answer which is the most common method of para suicide in india para suicide para suicide i want to get the answer drug or poison yes bharat absolutely right drug or poison most common method of para suicide is drug or poison adduction adduction add adduction hyoid bone fracture is seen in adduction hyoid bone fracture is seen in hanging or throttling adduction throttling now listen carefully listen carefully hyoid bone fracture is more common in option a is hanging option b is throttling hyoid bone fracture is more common in hanging or throttling what will be the answer yes throttling it is 50% cases hanging it is 10% cases okay which is the first cavity to be opened in asphyxial death first cavity to be opened in asphyxial death anyone yesterday i discussed first cavity to be opened in asphyxial death which is the last last everyone knows it is yes first is cranium last is neck first is cranium last is neck absolutely right
very good what is the name of this strangulation method this mugging what is the name of this strangulation method totally in spain and turkey criminals are killed by which method of strangulation what is the name of that method garotti 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 absolutely right friends absolutely right most common method is garotti yes now sir tell me asphyxial signs are more prominent in hanging or strangulation asphyxial signs cpc are more prominent in hanging or strangulation 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 because here compression of the neck is more that's why the sign are more prominent in strangulation very good six penny bruise on the neck with semi lunar crescentic abrasion by nail are seen in six penny bruise throttle yes damodar it is throttle throttle okay very good okay anyways sir this is all about a very very important topic we discussed this was asphyxial death now i am coming to another important topic friends yes yes identification the next topic is identification sir identification is very important part and there is a word which is known as corpus delicti there we have a word this word is known as corpus delicti what is the meaning of corpus delicti sir corpus means body corpus means body and delicti means offense it means what is the meaning of this if any offense take place see like this is a body that body this is a dead body db is dead body this dead body has a knife inside now sir what are part of corpus delicti yes that body is a part of corpus delicti knife is a part of corpus delicti crime scene is also a part of corpus delicti crime scene is also a part of corpus delicti but sir which is the most important part of corpus delicti that body knife and crime scene which is the first thing which is required to trace the crime anyone which is the best thing which we require to trace that crime dead body dead body what what dead body yes first we require to first we require to identify the dead body agar dekho doctor sahab someone is missing someone is missing you have found weapon you have found crime scene but if the body is missing then how can you confirm the crime it means sir dead body identification is the first thing which we which we require for identification that why corpus delicti most important part is identification identify the dead body most important part to identify this is identification it means sir if you get a question which is the most important part of corpus delicti the answer will be identification body of offense corpus delicti means body of offense jurm ka sharir pehle ye to pehchano ki kiske sath jurm hua hai so identification is the most important part of corpus delicti now sir best method 
to identify criminal best method to identify criminal is fingerprinting fingerprint is also known as dactylography fingerprint is also known as dactylography like so in crime scene sometime you get fingerprint it is also known as galton system because it is also known as galton system but sir it was discovered by william hershel discovered by william hershel you can remember hershel or william hershel in india first fingerprint bureau was established in kolkata in india first fingerprint bureau was established in kolkata in fetus life fingerprint start in 12 to 16 week and complete in 24 weeks complete in 24 weeks 24 weeks sir dissection of skin dissection of skin is up to 0.6 mm from skin for fingerprint for fingerprint means if this is skin we can dissect up to 0.6 mm to get fingerprint result 0.6 mm now fingerprint are permanently lost in in leprosy fingerprint are permanently lost in leprosy charring that is burn and radiation leprosy charring and radiation these fingerprints are permanently lost now sir which is the best finger to get fingerprint thumb best finger for fingerprint is thumb because thumb has the maximum point thumb has the maximum point now sir how many points should be present minimum point minimum point for comparison how many points should be present minimum point for comparison minimum 10 to 12 points should be present for comparison between two person minimum 10 to 12 percent 10 to 12 points should be present for comparison comparison best is thumb worst is little finger minimum point for comparison is 10 to 12 sir henry classified fingerprint and we can remember love wife and children love for loop wife for walls and for arch and children for composite sir most common is loop variety will so this is the most common variety loop wall is like this gumauda arch sir arch and loop has to be differentiated i will let you and 1 to 3% varieties composite most common is loop variety henry classified fingerprint most common is loop variety then whorls then arch then this now sir if fingerprint are not visible if fingerprint are not visible these are known as latent fingerprint latent fingerprint and latent fingerprint can be visualized latent fingerprint can be visualized by silver nitrate
by osmium tetraoxide by silver nitrate and osmium tetraoxide osmium tetraoxide now sir another important mcq comes for fingerprint we use a method for fingerprint we use a method this is known as oftir what is oftir optical frustrated optical frustrated total internal reflection method optical frustrated total internal reflection method chalo first i will show you the picture then i will ask you some question see this picture comes in exam i think this picture came in recent exam this picture came in recent exam absolutely 100% i am ready this is sir this is loop variety this is whirl variety this is arch variety this is arch variety and i i think the question was arch variety you can see this is loop variety this is this is arch this is arch variety actually sir arch is the only variety in which there is no delta arch is the only variety in which there is no delta what is delta two or three surface of the fingerprint merges with each other. you can see see here fingerprint surfaces are merges with each other that is a delta in this variety fingerprint surfaces are merging with each other this is delta but if you see in arch this is no delta there is no merging of fingerprint there is no merging of the fingerprint this is arch so arch variety is the only variety in which arch variety is the only variety in which there is no delta there is no delta okay ये तो मैंने पिछले साल भी जिन बच्चों को पढ़ाया था उन सबको दिखाया था मैंने फिंगरप्रिंट ये आर्च लूप एंड वर्ल्ड वेराइटी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट मेथड नाउ कुछ रेपिड डिविजन कर लेते हैं विच इज द बेस्ट फिंगर टू टेक फिंगरप्रिंट विच इज द बेस्ट फिंगर टू टेक फिंगरप्रिंट यस थ्रम हाउ मेनी मिनिमम पॉइंट शुड बी सिमिलर मिनिमम पॉइंट शुड बी सिमिलर ट्वेल्व टेन टू ट्वेल्व what are the two chemical used to detect fingerprint two chemical name two chemical name silver nitrite and silver nitrite and osmium tetraoxide who classified fingerprint who classified fingerprint henry who discovered fingerprint no william arshel discovered fingerprint Henry classified William Herschel discovered finger fingerprints are completed till what time of the intrauterine life? Twenty four days. Till what depth we dissect the skin for fingerprint? Zero point seven six mm. In India, first fingerprint bureau established in. yes it is in kolkata sir second method of identification is poroscopy your skin contain pores and this was discovered by locard i have already told you this was discovered by locard edmund locard this branch is known as poroscopy palletography sir hard pellet study of hard pellet is known as palletography study of hard pellet is known as palletography specially we take anterior hard pellet anterior 
of hard pellet and it was discovered by Allen. Study of hard pellet, it is known as pelletography. We take anterior one third of hard pellet and this was discussed by Allen. Allen. This is known as pelletography. This is known as pelletography. Now next. Next is chiloscopy. Next is. लेकिन सही है भाई जितना करा रहा है तो last day कम से कम थोड़ा जल्दी छोड़ दे तो कुछ पढ़ लेंगे. सही बात. क्या? हाँ तो ये कि last day पढ़ लेंगे. One. अरे क्या हो गया? जानू सर ने सब लिया हैं अरे क्या मर गए क्या क्या ज्ञान बांट रहा था भाई ऐसे बोल रहा था कि जल्दी छोड़ दोगे कुछ पढ़ लेंगे ये तो सेवन थर्टी टाइम है ना भाई बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सर कॉन्टिन्यू करो आप हाँ मतलब मैं तो जल्दी छोड़ूंगा मैं मैं देखो मैं कभी किसी की ज्यादा लंबी नहीं लेता समझ लो है ना चार घंटे पढ़ाता हूं ज्यादा पढ़ाता नहीं हूं और बहुत प्यार से पढ़ाता हूं याद कर करके पढ़ाता हूं पप्पी दे दे के पढ़ाता हूं जानू जानू करके पढ़ाता हूं करम जलो करके पढ़ाता हूं याद करवा भी देता हूं है है भैया सर पूरी ले लो चाहे फिर पास करा दो देखो भाई पास करवाना नहीं करवाना दो चीजों पे डिपेंड करता है पहली चीज है पुरुषार्थ क्या वर्ड बोला मैंने क्या वर्ड बोला पुरुषार्थ 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 का मतलब मर्दानगी से नहीं है पहली बात तो ये ध्यान रखना पुरुषार्थ का मतलब होता है मेहनत और कर्म मेहनत और कर्म को बोलते हैं पुरुषार्थ ठीक है दूसरी चीज जो पास कराने के लिए चाहिए होती है वो होती है आपने मेहनत किस तरीके से की आपने मेहनत किस तरीके से की तो दोस्तों मेहनत करने का तरीका भी मैं आपको पढ़ा बता चुका हूं और मेहनत तो करवा ही रहा हूं है? तो मेरी तरफ से तो साहब भाई साहब आपका सिलेक्शन तय है क्योंकि मैंने मेरी जिन्होंने फॉरेंसिक मेडिसिन क्लास पहले भी ली होगी उससे बहुत ज्यादा पढ़ाया मैंने है ना तो कोई नहीं ये प्रभाकरण क्या बोला व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन कांट अंडरस्टैंड क्या हुआ प्रभाकरण चलो एक बार थोड़ा ये कंप्लीट करा देता हूँ फिर उसके बाद अपन थोड़ी सी बची हुई बातें कर लेते हैं रिवाइज भी कर लेते हैं दोरोस्कोपी स्किन कंटेन फोर दिस वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाई लोक पैलेटोग्राफी Study of hard pellet anterior one third discovered by this fourth chiloscopy. Study of lip print. Study of lip print is known as chiloscopy. It was discovered by Suzuki. That's a very important MCQ. Suzuki discovered chiloscopy. Suzuki. Discovered chiloscopy and doctor. Generally, we have seven type of lip print. Seven type of lip prints. There are aqua prints. Aqua prints and cyanoacrylate. These are two things which are used to stain lip print. These are. टू थिंग एक्वा प्रिंट एंड साइनो एक्रिलेट इससे हम लिप प्रिंट को डेवलप करते हैं डेवलपर ऑफ लिप प्रिंट आर एक्वा प्रिंट एंड साइनो एक्राइलेट नंबर फाइव रिटाइना स्किन रिटाइना स्किन रिटीना स्किन इज द मोस्ट प्रिसाइज एंड रिलायबल most precise and reliable biometric method 
अरे स्क्रीन नहीं दिख रही क्या दिख रही है सर इस प्रभाकरण के आज पक्का कुछ नहीं बोल रहा हूँ बड़ा is most precise and reliable biometric method that is known as retina scan retina scan sun le prabhakaran nahi dikh raha sun le dhole number 6 super imposition technique what is super imposition technique in super imposition technique we use skull x ray and it is a screening test we use skull x ray and it is a screening test super imposition technique acha dusra prabhakaran hai okay koi baat nahi it is super imposition technique it is skull x ray we are using it is a screening test now so what we do we superimpose skull x ray on negative of the photograph negative of the photograph now so if someone died and we are not able to see or we are not able to identify that person though, or what will do we'll take photograph of the negative of the missing person and skull x ray of the that dead body and will superimpose but sir superimposition technique is not a confirmatory test it is a screening test skull x ray of a person is superimposed in negative of the photograph this is known as superimposition technique superimposition technique seventh tattoo mark Sir, tattoo mark are also very important identification method. We use many dyes for tattoo mark. Doctor, whatever dye we use for tattoo mark, whatever dye we use for tattoo mark, this dye goes to lymph node level. We use some dye to the tattoo mark. This dye goes to the lymph node level. So we use certain dyes of tattoo mark. there are many dyes of tattoo mark used as indigo dye melachite green india ink india ink vermilion but sir this dye goes to the lymph node So, doctor, if you want to detect that dye, you just dissect the skin till lymph node level. And tattoo mark are useful for live person, dead person, as well as decomposed person. It means that it is useful for identification of live, dead, and decomposition. If all three options are given, best answer will be decomposed. There was a very famous case, which was. identify by tattoo mark that was sydney shark arm case a very famous case which was identified by tattoo mark that was sydney shark arm case sydney shark arm case how to make tattoo mark visible we use infrared rays we use infrared rays but sir infrared is used for old tattoo mark for old tattoo mark for faded tattoo mark we use ultraviolet rays infrared rays is used for old tattoo mark for faded tattoo mark we use ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays this question comes in exam okay now sir another important identification method is anthropometry sir anthropometry is also known as 
Bertillian system anthropometry is also known as Bertillian system. Another name is portrait parley. Another name is portrait parley. Portrait parley. Now, sir, how do we identify person by anthropometry? It is based on physical measurement of a person. Height, stature, physical measurement of the person, body marks of a person, and descriptive data of a person. We are using physical measurement of it, like height, length, stature, marks present on the body, scar mark, mole, tattoo, and descriptive data. So this branch is looks like a simple example. You found a finger. You found a cut finger somewhere. By this finger, you can identify sex of a person, DNA of a person, stature of a person, or many other things. So this branch is known as anthropometry. It means that only by body part, body marks, by physical measurement, by descriptive data, we can identify the person. This branch is known as anthropometry. This is also known as portrait parley or Bertillian system. This is also known as portrait parley and Bertillian system. Now write down some questions, sir. What is the technique in which we use, what is the technique in which we use skull x-ray? Skull x-ray. Skull x-ray. Superimposition technique. Very good. The answer is superimposition technique. For faded tattoo mark, for faded tattoo mark, which technique is used? Faded tattoo mark. Yes. Ultraviolet rays. Yes, answer is ultraviolet rays. For old tattoo mark, sorry, faded tattoo mark, ultraviolet rays. For old tattoo mark, which technique is used? For old tattoo mark, which technique is used? Yes. It is absolutely right. It is infrared rays. Tattoo mark is used to identify live dead decomposed what will be the best answer live dead decomposed what will be the best best answer best answer would be yes absolutely right friends best answer would be decomposed vermilion melichet green india ink are the dye used for making what dye used for making what <clears throat> take two mark Die used for making tattoo mark. Tattoo mark. Sydney shark arm case was a very important case of which was detected by Sydney shark arm case was a very famous case detected by using what? Tattoo mark. If tattoo mark is present on your body, skin should be detected up, dissected up to what level to see that dye? Skin should be dissected up to what level to see that dye? Yes, it is lymph node level. Yes, it is lymph node level. By physical measurement, by descriptive data, by body marks, we identify the person. What is the name of this method? What is the name of this method? So this branch is anthropometry. This branch is anthropometry. This particular branch is known as anthropometry. Very, very important. Another important MCQ that is another important MCQ. Cyanoacrylate and aqua print are used to. Cyanoacrylate and aqua print are used to see what? 
lip prints lip print is the best answer ellen discovered which method chiloscopy or palletography ellen discovered which method chiloscopy or palletography yes answer is answer is palletography answer is palletography palletography suzuki discovered which method suzuki yes suzuki discovered chiloscopy very good suzuki discovered chiloscopy which is the most precise and reliable method of biometrics biometrics retina scan and which is the best method for criminal identification criminal identification fingerprint fingerprint okay portrait parle is another name of portrait parle is another name used for for yes it is anthropometry yes it is anthropometry so anyway sir this branch is known as anthropometry so doctor sir this is all about for today's class so my target would be to finish the class my target will be to finish the class up to in two days okay 